and welcome to the 2013 Chima Mares Cup Championship. We're here for high school cricket between North Park Secondary School and Stephen Lewis battling it out for the coveted trophy. I'm Jeremy Pearl and welcome to Sunnybrook Park. For more on today's championship match, let's send it over to our commentators. All right, guys, uh, welcome to uh, Sunnybrook Park. It's a lovely day out here, and uh, two, two really competitive teams out here. Uh, first of all, Stephen Lewis has won the toss, and uh, they decided to bat first. Stephen Lewis, a uh, team that has sort of uh, grown heaps and bounds as the, as the seasons have gone by. Last year, they've, uh, they've acquired the GTA Championship, as well as uh, their ROPSA Championship, and this year, they are competing in the final again. Yeah, now North Park. North Park is a champion team. They have won everything possible this year. They've only managed to lose one team, one game this season. Stephen Lewis and uh, North Park have faced each other in the semi-final of their regional games. And guess who won? North Park. North Park beat them. Competitive, a very easy game. Let's see if they can manage to bounce back. And we'll go back over to Jeremy again. More action here on Rogers TV. And welcome back to 2013 Mayor's Cup Championship Finals between North Park and Stephen Lewis. Let's send it out on the field for today's game. All right, guys. Thanks a lot, Jeremy. And uh, welcome back, guys. Uh, it's uh, just another amazing day out here. And um, we're really looking forward to to the, this game. And uh, I'm joined by two two other commentators. Myself is Akash. Joined by... Madish and Amaresh. All right, so North Park is just getting ready, waiting for Stephen Lewis to come on the field. And the final get going. And the uh, two umpires are, are about to take the field. The two umpires officiating this game are uh, Mr. Edward and the second one is Mr. Amarasena. The two men in charge of today's game. Alright, so the umpire just waiting for the batsmen to come on. North Park just having a team talk. And uh, I had a look at the field uh, this morning, uh, just before the game started. Uh, I went out there onto the pitch. The pitch looks pretty dry after all the rain we've had. And the ground looks pretty dry now, so we should have some uh, high-scoring game here. The ball should come out to the bat. Uh, in the morning it was a little soggy, but now it's dried out completely, so it'll be dry conditions. The sun is out blazing out here. It's very humid. Uh, there's a little bit of a breeze. Uh, I'm not sure how much of movement they're going to get off the ball of this on this pitch, being the artificial pitch. Uh, it's waiting to see uh, what the bowlers are capable of doing. North yeah, Park can defend any score up to 91. Last semi-final game against Naki, they managed to score 90, and they managed to defend it. Yeah, look, I think I think it's a, it's a it's a good outfield and a decent track to to put some runs on the board as Amrish said. And um, so, guys, uh, what do you think? Who do you think? Um, uh, I I'm not seen the the batting uh, the strength of the the, the side, uh, but uh, I would think 20 overs, um, 130 uh, on this ground. Uh, it's still a bit heavy. The grass is a little thick, so 130 I think would be a good score to defend. What do you think, Mendes? I, I think North Park will manage to, around 90 runs, 90 to 100, they'll manage to um, uh, score that, to chase yeah. that, it'll be easy for them. Yeah, but anything above 100, it's going to be tough. Yeah, yeah, Stephen Lewis has, uh, has, a, has a pretty oh decent batting attack. And um, I believe North Park has got some, uh, some, uh, some of our national guys uh, playing in them as well. Max Joshi and Sabesh, I think. All right, guys. As we see, the the Stephen Lewis batsmen have just uh, arrived, and uh, the two batsmen that are out there in the middle are Muktadir Syed and Bilal Khan. Oh 
Bilal Khan, uh, a right-handed batsman, uh, a really good, really good striker of the ball, and uh, Mukhtar Sayed is a left-hand batsman and uh, also bowls a bit of a bit of medium pace, is what I believe. Bilal Khan, I think he played a fantastic innings in the semi-final. He scored about 22 runs, and he took his side to the finals. And we are about to see the first ball being delivered uh, by Edward as uh, signal the scorers. They are ready. And uh, to open the bowling from the far end, we call that the far end, and this could be the near end because it's near to us here. And to bowl the first over for uh, the, uh, the fielding side is... Nikhil Gandhi. Gandhi. Nikhil Gandhi. Right arm over and the first ball has been tucked away on the outside. There's a short leg feeling down there and the field, I'll give the field setting. Uh, there's a wicket keeper who's standing fairly up to the medium pacer. There's a, on the offside, there's a slip feeling fairly deep, uh, not the normal uh, standing for a slip. Uh, there's a cover, backward cover, an extra cover, a deeper extra cover, uh, the mid off uh, pretty deep on the offside as uh, Nikhil Gandhi comes in again right up over and that's again played on the onside and there goes for a quick single as he played into the gap between uh, mid wicket and square leg. The fielder has to move to his uh, right uh, to his left field so they take a single that's the first run on the board for uh, Steven Lewis who are batting first and uh, so it, it looks as if the ball is coming pretty decently off the wicket. It's, it's, it's pretty 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 pacey. Uh, what do you think? Uh, yeah Rash? yeah it looks it looks uh, dry it looks hard and uh, I think uh, Nikhil will will favor bowling on this track. He's a tall guy. He will probably extract some bounce. And uh, yeah, he's got a he's got a pretty decent field. Uh, and Bundy, what do you think? I think North Park had two seamers. Um, Karan Patel and Nikhil Gandhi, they bowled really well. Both of them uh, like to favor the short ball, right? And I think this pitch favors that. And you think short, it's going to be tough for the batsman to hop onto. It's going to be hard to read the ball. Okay, so here we go. The right hand on strike, and Nikhil bowls, and that's uh, chopped go, down boy. to third man Double to the boy. left of uh, back of point, and they go through for another single. So he's off the mark. So two runs on the board already in this first over, but uh, uh, the he's keeping a good line, I would say, and bowling a little short, getting the batsman to go on the back foot there. He's not allowing them to come on the front foot for the drive, so the, the tactic is working. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it seems it seems like a sort of a plan because he's got that that fielder who's about about 40 yards on the mid-wicket bound sort of protecting that mid-wicket region. Nikhil again so to the left hander like and he tries to pull him around and the umpire calls it a wide ball going down the leg side. Anything down the leg side will be called a wide so Nikhil will have to keep it there between the stumps. Anything down the leg side the umpires are going to be very strict on this. They'll call it a wide. So one more to the total and uh, that's three on the board now as Nikhil comes in again bowling right arm over to the left hander on the back foot watching it carefully pushing it to the short extra off fielder Nikhil is relying on that slightly short of a length not allowing him to go for the pull shot and he's not allowing him to come on the front foot to go for the drive so good tactic in this first over keeping it tight and that's what they'll have to do yeah look that's that's actually awesome because that's a really good start for North Park they just got two singles and uh, not really the bat get away. And has been played away a little uppish, but into the gap. They'll take one, they'll look for two, they'll have to hurry. And they do. Uh, the throw was not uh, sharp enough, but it bounced in front of the wicket keeper, and the batsman goes for two runs, two more. And that takes a total to five. So Stephen Lewis uh, opening the batting, uh, batting first, uh, now five without loss. Uh, the left hand, right hand combination makes it a little uh, difficult for the bowler to keep a, a, a line uh, because they, they keep changing the. the the angle all the time and uh, it's, it's a well spread out field now there's no slip the slip has been moved way down to third man uh, probably uh, Nikhil is expecting him to chop it down there because he's bowling a little short of a length as he comes in again balls right arm over and that's a good length delivery pushing forward to short extra cover straight to the fielder no chance of a run and that is the end of a steady first over I would say yep five months and over that's exactly what Stephen Lewis is looking for. Five runs and over for the first five overs. Around get get around 30, 36 around Ray. Six Cash. runs and over should be fine. What do you think? Yeah, look, I think that's a that's a good start. It's a uh, final is always always any any score on a final is is uh, pretty good. But uh, for Stephen Lewis, it's just about getting that base right and uh, starting with no wickets down early on, no giving no chance to North Park is is a bonus. <laughs> The next bowler is Karan Patel. Karan Patel, long run up and short of a length. Again, it's uh, pushed out on the offside, back for the square. And there's a fielder at there, backward point. 
and easily fielded. So they are keeping it a little short. They're getting the batsman to go on the back foot. So uh, we have still not seen the full shot yet. Uh, probably we'll see some attacking strokes coming soon uh, about these short balls. Next delivery. And that's uh, tucked away on the onside. Uh, did he get a bat on it? Maybe not. Ball just drops on the onside. It is thigh. Yeah, okay. off the thigh pad. So no chance of a run. So uh, Karan, uh, pretty quick I would say. The fastest uh, we have seen so far out of the two bowlers. Yep. As he comes in a long run. And that's uh, played back on the offside. There's a field and the short extra cover. No chance of a run. So steady on the on the stumps bowling by Curran. Curran a very uh, uh, approaching his fire uh, bowling mark very fast. He's walking fast to his bowling mark. He wants to get through these overs quick, and he comes running in again. And uh, and and that's been hit sky as the fielder getting under it. Will he? No, he drops it. Well, it was a bit of a hesitation between the fielder at long off and the fielder at extra cover. And that made the difference because in the end, he, the extra cover had to go for it. Nobody called for it, I think. Yeah, no one called for it. And I think Curran was running back to get it as well. And there was a miscommunication between the team. And that could have been an easy wicket. So, so lucky for Stephen Lewis, uh, batsman survives. And the left-hander will take strike now. Curran, unlucky. And I don't know whether you noticed, uh, Mandish, you know, he bowls. And he comes again, bowls the left hand at this time that's pushed away on the onside. Yeah, um, what I see is Curran is bowling from an extra foot behind the, ball, uh, the bowling mark. I, I don't know why he does that because he's bowling at least 23 ex an extra yard uh, of effort. Uh, you watch him when he comes into ball. His front foot lands by the bowling crease, the back, back crease. So that's, uh, he's making extra effort to bowl. <laughs> what do you think, Akash? I don't know whether you watched that one. Yeah, well. I don't really know, I guess. Yeah, you but watch it's, it. a, it's a, it's a, That's very it's a difficult tactic. See? Well, See? His front yeah. foot lands on the back crease. Yeah, look, I think if, if you... He think will not bowl a no ball. <laughs> right, right, right. If you, think, if you think technical, I think it's more so to do with the way letting the batsman wait a bit more for the ball. Probably. Because it will take a little bit more and a um, little bit more time to, to get to the batsman. But uh, I think uh, Karan's relying a lot on his in-swing. You can see he's a lot more uh, open-chested and you can see that he's just looking to bowl in-swing all the time and uh, sort of take it away from the left-hander. I, I think he reversed the in-swingers. He bowled two of them against Naki, if I remember correctly, and two of their openers missed it completely. I think he favors that ball a lot. And uh, we are on to the third over, and it's Nikhil to bowl, and he'll continue his second over. Uh, four overs per bowler is the maximum. And this is his second over and the third of the inning, and he'll be bowling to the right-handed. Uh, it is uh, Bilal Khan. Bilal Khan. Bilal Khan. And full he toss. plays it on the offside of full toss, and they go through for a quick single. Oh. And that's a uh, poor throw, but uh, the, the batsmen were not ready for that. The ball has been fielded uh, by the backing up fielder there at the far uh, field, and uh, that's just a single. So one more to the total, takes it on to seven. And still, uh, they're bowling to no slip, uh, and that the third man there uh, waiting for the edge stroke. This is full toss no. and we'll have to wait for the umpires. It's called a no ball. It's uh, above waist height. So the umpire calls it a no ball and they take an extra run as well. And nine on the board. Yeah, we can't bowl the ball so high and they'll call, we'll be called a no Anything about the waist. Anything about the waist is a no ball. Yeah. So um, Nikhil uh, trying something uh, different uh, ended up bowling that high full toss which became a no ball. I think he's going for a short ball and then repeating a Yorker after that, right after that. And he w he's trying to disturb the batsman's footwork by doing that. So it's Bilal Khan on strike, the right-hander, Nikhil. And that's played, and ooh, oh, a bit of a misfield. That would have been a close call if you had picked up the ball right away. Yeah, One that, that, the that, was, uh, that was a bit of a risky run. Had the fielder picked up Queen, that would have been a, a pretty close shot for a run out. But uh, anyhow, it's, uh, they've survived, and, uh, and after 2.2, it's 10 runs. And Stephen Lewis. Nickel again bowling to the left hander now. And that's pushed away on the offside, down the track, straight to the bowler. No chance of a run. So Nickel, the bowling has been pretty steady up till now. Uh, there have been no big hits yet. Uh, it's been all singles and a couple of twos. And of course, the couple of extras that they have bowled. Other than that, the bowlers have kept a steady length and line. And again, on the back foot. And there's that third man coming into play there. Uh, well placed for that stroke. Saves the run and uh, total still remains on 10, ten behind the third over. So the average is still just about three, not even. And that's Nikhil Khan, Nikhil Gandhi, right arm, tall. And 
he smashes that but uh, didn't time it too well. Uh, there's a fielder at uh, short mid on who got to the ball and knocked it over towards uh, long on. The bowler fielding uh, on his own after that. And they go through for a single. One more to the total. Great effort by the fielder. Yeah, good effort, good effort. But uh, it, was, it was something he could have stopped. Yeah, okay. I think the North Park will have to step over their fielding. They missed and the catch that's already. That's a beautiful looking stroke. Uh, goes down on his knee and smashes it through the covers, but the ball doesn't travel. As I said, still the ground is a little heavy. There's thick grass on it. Uh, otherwise, it would have gone much uh, further down. Uh, the field of the actual cover managing to uh, cut it off. Uh, not a single. End of the third over. And uh, Akash, uh, what do you think of the going by the batsman? Oh, look, I think uh, on the boat. Looking at the, looking at an overall score, I think it's a decent start from both the teams. Uh, North Park has kept it really tight, but they still haven't been able to pick up a wicket, and uh, that's a bonus for Stephen Lewis. I think if Stephen Lewis can sort of maintain that that uh, that wicket ratio to be to be lower than their <coughs> then they they're on the front foot at the moment. I think that's their plan. They want to keep the wickets till the tenth over. Their opener settle in, and I think they're aiming for a high total. 100 minimum. Yeah, look, I think I, I think uh, it's a, it's a, it's an unpredictable game, the short version, and uh, it's difficult to sort of pick out a score. But uh, if they can get anything that is close to 100, I think it's a competitive total for a final. And uh, there's a bit of repair work being done to the wickets. Uh, they will be the rails came off. The umpire is uh, attending to it. Uh, umpire Amrasena, uh, who's standing at square leg. It's umpire Edward. Uh, the head umpire as we wait for current Patel. Current Patel in again and again that in swing, in the in swinger. But the uh, only thing is a bit short. Um, it was uh, climbing up a little bit on the batsman, uh, and the batsman was not right behind it. I would thought uh, he he was in two minds as he waits. Current balls. And this time he smashes it there. Where is it gone? It's gone all the way, is it? And, uh, well, he got it all right, right in the middle, and that's all the way for six. That's a very big shot from Bilal Khan, and that's a good pickup. Karan Sharma has been getting that in swinger consistently, but uh, this time Bilal Khan has picked it up right. And that's the danger in the in-swing bowler. Uh, if the batsman gets it in the middle oh. uh, on that leg, and this time he has uh, just squirts it out to back for the uh, cover, and they'll go for two. So now the runs are beginning to come. Bilal Khan. They're picking it up. Yeah, 18, nine, 20 now. 20, 20 on the board. The so Bilal Khan is opening up. Uh, he's got the measure of the pace of the wicket now. As Karan Patel bowls. And this time it's a good length delivery, and uh, and uh, the way Bilal is uh, playing it, he he kind of covers the, s the swing, but uh, doing in doing that he seems to lose a bit of time, and that's why you know he doesn't seem to be timing it too well. In again, Karan Patel, right arm. That's outside the off stamp, but ball kept, kept a bit low then. Uh, that's a bit uh, low, and uh, he tried to uh, swat it down to third man, didn't get hold of it, played well over it. End of the fourth over. And uh, the total is 20. Steven Lewis, no wickets lost. Both teams going pretty good. That's a, that was a pretty good over for Steven Lewis, I think. Madish. Yeah, I think it was, it was because of that six, I think, it, they released the pressure that initially they had, right? They took the singles in the first couple of overs, right? And then they brought it back with the six. I think now the pressure's on North Park. Yeah, 20 and four, that's five and over is average. They would try to get it to six, as I said, 120, 130, uh, if they go. All right, and the uh, new bowler is uh, Rajat Arora. Is, is a left arm, is it? He's a medium pacer. Is a right-handed bowler medium pacer? I think that's the ca that's what the captain is thinking. He wants to change it up. And uh, so the first delivery has been pushed to extra cover, and that's a good run. They got good call, went with the stroke, and got the single easily. So the uh, the new bowler Rajat uh, bowling right arm, a medium pace from the far end. That is the uh, fifth over, and he's the third bowler being used. 
and it's Bilal Khan, the man who hit that uh, beautiful six, facing up to him now. And uh, he tries that flamboyant kind of off drive, a cover drive, I would say, uh, but nowhere near it through to the keeper. Ball seems to keep a little low on that end sometimes, uh, just outside the off stump, and that is why he keeps missing it too, I think. Yeah, but I think it has to do with the uneven bounce because the late night rain. And that's a full pitch delivery, and there he goes again, over mid wicket this time. And where has it gone? And that's four. gone for four. So Bilal Khan uh, showing his prowess. He's a hard hitting bat, very compact uh, player. And uh, he, hits, he likes to hit it hard, and when he hits it, he, he really puts it away. He's picking up the gaps. Yeah, he, he seems to be liking those horizontal bat shots, and uh, I think uh, in this sort of a format, you need these. And Rajat again, and this time it's a slower delivery. That was well bowled, and uh, Bilal watched it carefully and pushed it to the fielder at short mid wicket. No chance of a run, so good cricket from both the bowler and the batsman then. Both are using their uh, head to tackle that situation. And this time it's outside the off stump, and it tries to probably just inside the line and uh, Bilal not connecting again trying to play there's a gap between this sh the short third man and the cover point and uh, and the thing is it's uh, a little uphill coming this way the ball may not go if he doesn't get it uh, timed well as Rajat comes into bowl again right arm over and that's played into that gap I was talking about and they get a single yeah, look, very good cricket. After a boundary, you always want that single, and uh, Bilal is not getting carried away with the boundaries. He's, uh, he's looked pretty well, pretty strong at the moment, and uh, he's, he's putting his team in a pretty good position. So now after the five overs, the score is 26 for zero. And uh, so they're maintaining that five per over, uh, with the boundary coming in that over as well, Bilal. And uh, he's the man uh, to watch. And uh, he's, uh, he, they're lucky that he survived that catch uh, earlier on. And uh, I'm sure uh, the uh, Stephen Lewis uh, team must be thinking, oh, well, let off. And there's going to be a change in the bowling again from the near end here. Yeah. The beach. Watch it, watch your field below. Sabesh Rathanaygam. And he's their national player. He bowls a quite a bit of half spin, right? And he's he bowled really well against Naki, to be honest. Uh huh. So Sabesh Rajanayagam, the first spinner introduced uh, in this uh, game, and uh, of course the field drops. There's a long on right on the boundary. There's a long off about three quarters of the way, and on the on side there's another square leg uh, three quarters of the way to the boundary, and the first delay outside the off stump that's played out into the cover area. There's a backward point waiting for it. So Bilal Khan taking a look at the first delivery, short of a length, and uh, waiting to see if it spins much, uh, not much of spin on the first delivery. As uh, Rasanagam bowls, this time on the front foot, played out on the offside, uh, down to that fielder at long off, just a single. Yeah, look, the ball is uh, still pretty new, and uh, I think it's uh, it's just another tactic used by the the captain to sort of uh, get another wicket because at 27 for zero he's just he just wants that first early breakthrough and sort of put the other team under a bit of pressure and if it is Bilal Khan it will be ideal I believe for for the fielding team uh, and the left hand on strike and obviously he has a slip being an off spinner ball will be spinning away from the bat uh, waiting for that edge there's a slip but he's feeling too deep I would think and that's pitched on the well, that, that was uh, spotted out. Uh, it's, called the it's called the wide. Wide. Right, so wide. that's a free yeah. run. It's I think Sabesh, is, his goal is to uh, give a bit of flight, right? He, he wants the batsman to come down the track and try to hit him over the 30 yard circle. And this one is driven nicely down to long on for an easy single. So, Sabesh, uh, not giving any much away except for that wide. Uh, he has been on a good line and length. Um, haven't been much spin off of him yet. With Bilal facing, and uh, there's a wide open gap for him between long on and square leg. There's nobody on mid wicket, so he must be eyeing that one because off spinner coming into him. Yep, and also the breeze. Oh, and that's dropped down uppish and uh, just wide of the field at slip. 
and that's down to third man. Just a single only though. Post chance. Yeah, Bilal uh, trying to cut it against the spin, obviously, uh, is a little bit of a risk. Uh, one more to the total. 29. We are in the sixth over, so they are still maintaining that almost the five runs and over. Now the left hand on strike. Umpires change over as Sabes comes in. That's played down to long off. Fielder has to come around quite a ways. Another easy single. And the total now goes to 30. 28. 29. 29. 29. 29. One more ball to go. And that is There's an appeal. appeal and not out. Not out. Well, the batsman left it. Probably was expecting to get a white off of that, maybe. The ball did spin. It spin and uh, probably ball pitched leg stump and slightly moving away. The umpire said not out. Yeah, that was a pretty quick delivery. And I think Sabiz is looking to bowl a little bit quick, not looking to turn the ball too much, and uh, just sort of get catch the catch the batsman. I think he figured out that there is no spin to offer on the pitch, right? So he's just pitching and he's just having the variation, bowling it slow, right? Giving the flight, and then the ordinary ball with bowling um, with full speed. And to continue from the, well, there's another bowling change. Max bowling Joshi, change. their captain, another national player. Spinner as well. Yeah, he's yeah, spinner. he's he's a right arm offie and. Uh, Look, he's a, he's a decent cricketer. He's played. Uh, he's represented Canada at the under-15 level, and uh, he's he's progressing well. Left arm, no right arm, right, right arm over the wicket, and that's and oh, and the first ball. strikes. That's very well bowled, and the first ball just inducing that big drive from uh, Syed, and uh, he's given a straightforward catch to the cover fielder. So uh, the breakthrough that that uh, that the fielding team needed, and uh, and. Uh, is a loss for Stephen Lewis. Yep, captain stepping up for his game. So the first wicket is down. The breakthrough that uh, he was looking for, the skipper strike with his first delivery. Uh, that's but not getting to the pitch of the ball, just driving against the spin, the left hander, and uh, playing it straight into the hands of uh, short extra cover. So he scored seven of 13 balls. So uh, a very steady inning, I would say. Seven of 13. 13 yeah. I think he just well, he was out there just to support Bilal, right? He's their main batsman, right? He wants to help him out. Yeah, once somebody has to play the sheet anchor when there's one attacking with the other end, uh, that should be the game anyways. And the new batsman in is? We've got uh, new batsman is, the new batsman is Rohit Malhotra, uh, right-hand batsman, and also their wicketkeeper. Malhotra facing up to the skipper. Max. Max. And uh, he has done Max with his first delivery. A wicket. Yeah, look, uh, a very good start from Max. And... Uh, a big confident booster as well for him because he's got to bowl a lot more. And uh, look at the brave move from Max himself because he's, all his spinners are bowling against the wind. It's easy for Bilal to sort of put these guys away and he's, he knows that he's hitting with the wind. So it's a brave move but it's paid off and uh, that was well bowled by Max. And uh, Max seems to be bowling a little flat, uh, so he's not relying much on spin, probably on the, uh, the, the variation. This is a better delivery, forward and edge to the slip fielder. So Max uh, keeping the batsman guessing, I can say, uh, bowling very well indeed. The wicket with his first delivery, That's 29 for 1. Mahotra under pressure, the others are closing up on him, right? Three dot balls. And this time Malotra moving away and trying to cut it. He should get closer to the ball to cut it. He's moving away so he doesn't have the reach for it. Defensively, to the field at short mid off. No run. So Max still attacking. And this time oh. on, that's edged down to third man. There's a chase for the fielder from slip. He runs up too quickly and they settle just for one. Malotra was looking for a second but there was one. 30 now on the board for one wicket. Yeah, the, the awkward throw just sort of hit the batsman, missed the keeper. But uh, look, decent play from uh, both the teams. And uh, we've got a wicket in that over. And uh, after seven overs, I believe the score is 30 for one. A good start from the, from the captain.
and we'll have Sabit coming into the attack again. Well, the two spinners have uh, managed to pull the scoring rate back. Uh, they were going at a decent five and over, but now with a drop to four and a bit, and it's uh, Sabez to continue bowling right arm over off spin, and that's. Uh, off the pad, I think uh, that's not making an attempt to play an attacking shot. Then he's, he's watching to see whether the ball is good to spin. Malotra, the batsman, came in after the ball of the first wicket as Sabes comes in again. Bowls right arm over, tossed up, and he takes it on the full, plays it to uh, mid on wide, and they take a single. And the ball, the, the throw comes straight at the wicket, but uh, the batsman uh, don't attempt the second run. There's a field of covering up. One more to the total. 31 for 1. Uh, Wendy's going to bring the ball, not traveling at all here. I think that slipped out of Sebastian's hand. He was looking for the ordinary one that spins uh, into the right handed, right? Keeping the pressure for Mahotra. Yeah. And he slipped out of his hand for a full toss. And the next delivery outside the off-star, Bilal cannot get hold of that. Through to the keeper. Keeper now standing well up to the stumps. And he bowls, and this time he goes for that big hit uh, to mid -wicket. Didn't get hold of it, uh, managed to get it just down to short mid -wicket. And the fielder from uh, Squalek has a long run, comes into field, just a single. So, as I said, there's a big gap between uh, Long On and Squalek for Bilal. And uh, he is aiming, I'm sure, to get into that gap. And uh, it will be a safe hit if he gets it there uh, because of the gap. And uh, they only got a single that time. He didn't time it too well as uh, Sabes bowls to Malotra. Malotra defensively fought very correct. Yeah, look, and I think I think uh, it's it's a uh, it's a good move keeping um, the new batsman on strike, and the longer they can sort of keep. Oh, oh. and a good attempt. Uh, the fielder got both his hands to that, but couldn't hold on. So Malotra gets away with a chance, and uh, Sabes misses taking a wicket. So. There, there's another chance going to begging. I think the fielder misread it. He he was thinking about it. The ball. Uh, he thought the ball was coming straight at him. But then at the end minute, he realized, as you can see over here, and then he starts. He moved a bit late. late. Yes. Yeah. He starts moving a bit late, and then he dove for it. Yeah. And, and that was a moment of should I or should I not? Exactly. Yeah. Look, after after eight overs, uh, 32. So it's uh, 33, sorry. Yeah, it's, uh, anyway, so spinners, I think, have uh, tied the batsman down. We can see it very well as uh, skipper Max now. Balls to Malotra. Malotra drives. This time he gets it through the gap uh, at extra cover, but there's a fielder covering up from uh, extra cover coming on to field, and there's just a single. Uh, so the ball doesn't travel too fast. As I said, it's the thick uh, growth of grass on this. Uh, they really have to get it uh, right in the middle of the bat to really get it going. Uh, so still a lot of singles in this uh, in this ground as uh, Max balls and uh, Bilal drives try again on that attack but uh, doesn't get past the short extra cover. So Bilal looking for that uh, forceful stroke every time as Max balls again right arm over and that's chopped away down to the field at point. No chance of a run. So Max bowling very well to his field. He has the slip at the point. Extra cover, a short mid off, and a long off on the boundary on the offside, and that's well covered on the offside as he comes in again, right arm over. Balls short of a length this time, and Bilal back and chopping it down straight to the fielder again at point, and no run again. So runs are coming very slowly now for Stephen Lewis. They need to break out of these shackles right now. Bilal tries again outside the off stump, doesn't get hold of through the keeper. So Max, what a spell this has been, uh, his second over, took a wicket with his first delivery and bowling a very tight second over indeed. This time Bilal comes down the track, where has he got it? Well, he is out, well Bilal paid the price, Max does it again, Bilal was tied down and he had to go for it and ended up hitting it straight to the field at long on. I think that has to do with the pressure, he was under pressure, four down balls right and then he was taking the Maho tries in the batting in the ball as well. Right, pressure built on him, even though he was on 23 out of like 24, the pressure was getting out to him. Yeah, and he, he pretty much favors that leg side, and I think he, he should have really put that. He should have really put that uh, put that ball away. I think it was very much in his own to to hit that ball over, but uh, that's how it goes. And uh, very well played, 21 for Bilal. Um, and I think uh, uh, Stephen Elliott, uh, Stephen Lewis should what they should be, uh, should be doing is you know 
it's hard to get the bowling away. Try for the gaps, get the singles and the twos. I mean, keep the score moving. And uh, this is what happens. The score doesn't move. You get under pressure. You go for the big hit. It's not there and you get out. So the batsman, I think, should be thinking of pushing it into the gaps, get the singles, keep the ball, the, the score ticking. That's what they have to do. They have to do a strategic change here. Go for the singles. Keep the ball moving. I think North Park is playing really well. They're making the batsmen think, right? They've pulled so many uh, pressure balls that they're like, go over the uh, fielders, right? We don't mind hitting you, um, giving you force. They have tight fielders and they have like a couple of fielders that are on the boundary line, right? And they're waiting for the batsmen to go for the uh, big hits. Well, uh, that was the end of the uh, eighth over, right? And it's going to be... No, it's not over yet, is it? Well, the, the new batsman is uh, Mirkan Kalsho. He's uh, another right-hand batsman. And the overs, and there's Sebastian back into the attack. Right, he's bowling his third over. So the limit is four, so he's coming in for a third over. So Max has bowled two. The two bases are bowled two each. And we are into the 10th over. So halfway mark, 34 for two. two. And um, under pressure, I under, would say. Under pressure. Exactly. Simon Lewis under pressure. Okay. And uh, Sabes goes back to his bowling mark. Bowling to the new batsman. And ooh, beaten by that one. He was uh, nowhere near it. His foot was away from the line of the ball. He went for the drive. It was lucky. Didn't get a touch, as you see on the replay. Yeah, he's he's trying try, try to hit oh. it from where he is with the foot nowhere near the ball. I think if the wicket keeper caught it, that would be a close one. Yeah, when, when he fumbled with it, huh? Yeah, he yeah. fumbled with it. That would be a close one. Sub is again. Second delivery, and that's tossed up short of a length, and he has got the gap this time. He went on the back foot, pulls it down to backward a square. They'll take one, and they'll take two. Two easy runs then. Short of a length this time, and the batsman saw it all the way, had enough time to pull it. And the two more. Takes a total of 36. We are in the 10th over. Yeah, look, as, uh, as well as North Park are doing, but I think uh, they've, they've got to look at the negative side of things. They've already dropped two catches, and they missed that uh, stumping. I think the, that would have been a, a big boost had the, the keeper collected the ball clean. And, uh, I, think the but, uh, I think the umpire called oh, it no ball. ball. Give a warning for breaking his hand. Well, anyway, the umpire had a word. Umpire Amrasena had a word with uh, the ball of Sabes. Uh, the, the bells have come off. The wind the blows across, and the wind bells have been taken off. He's fixing them up. As Sabes waits for. Uh, well, the bells don't, don't want to stick on. Okay, he has done it now. Sabes bowls. And this time again, and again, the similar stroke uh, to the one he uh, escaped with the stomping. Uh, foot nowhere near the ball. He just uh, plonks it down the straight line and tries to hit it. He's just uh, nowhere near the ball. Yeah, he's, he's, he's waiting for the batsman to come up and drive him. Right? And that's the plan I think Max is looking for. Right? He wants the batsman to come up and the wicket keeper has to do his job after that. And this time it's a bit of short of a length and the batsman uh, was done by the little bit of spin on it, I think. He was trying to force it on the offside, ended up uh, knocking it down just behind him on the onside. And Sabes, another good over here from him as he bowls. And again, the batsman not covering the line. He's playing down the wrong line every time and gets beaten. So that, was, that was called a wide. Called a wide again. That was a very tight call. Yeah. And again, outside the off stump, another wide. Yes. Yeah, so now Sabes is now bowling a little too off the off stump. He's trying to get the batsman, I think, to reach for it. But this time it was too short, and the batsman on the back foot, uh, we could keep it collecting. This time it's hit hard and straight to the field at Squalik. Just a single with the spin. He got it to Squalik. 38 for two. Yeah, look, uh, a very good uh, good start by uh, North Park. And uh, to keep a team in 10 overs for 38, I think it's, uh, it's a really good score. And uh, Stephen Lewis will have to do a lot of work to, to get back into this one. And uh, do we have a change in bowling again? Just to, just to get a confirmation on the third ball of the ninth over, I believe it was called a no ball. And uh, I believe it was for breaking the elbow.
or sort of like we are not as sure as yet but I think that's what it was called for as we call it sort of chucking wow uh, right and so here's the batting card as you can see the openers did a fairly well um, pretty good job 21 of 27 Bilal Khan I say it scored 7 of 13 and now the two batsmen on um, on the pitch are doing really well they're getting in the in the game change bowler and another spinner uh, a first ball outside the off stamp through to the keeper no run so the Aurora new bowler Aurora Jatin Aurora Jatin Aurora he bowls his kind of uh, fastest spin I would say yeah, he's, he's, he's a very short run up and this time it's pushed away to uh, deep mid off uh, the ball has to field himself but the field is way deep another single to the total taking total of 40 so 40 for 2 we are in the 11th over so it's uh, yeah look Max Max seems to be very happy keeping them down to the singles and not giving away boundaries and uh, he feels that uh, his team's team will be able to chase anything that's done into singles and not boundaries because boundaries can be can can build up that score pretty big and this one has been played on the offside and they go with the stroke for a single and comfortably taken that was a good call and the fielder from extra cover had to move a little to his left field good call a single I don't think the North Park mind the singles they just don't want to give other um, ordinary boundaries right they look at all their fielding they're, they're all inside the 30 yard circle the yeah. max is this time it's supposed to be on the onside. That's Wheeler again at uh, square leg, and they can take another single. It's fairly deep. One more to the total. At least down the score, they are keeping the score ticking along, uh, which is a must because that puts a little bit more pressure on the fielding side. And this time it's a wide. So another run scored. Yeah, look, and it's important. It's important to to keep the scoreboard ticking over. It's a short game, and by the time we the batsman realize as to what's going on the game might even be finished so and this time it's uh, hoiked away on the onside that's got the gap between Squalek and uh, Bitwicker they'll take two will they go for three no they don't the fielder gets the ball to the uh, fielder at the short mid wicket uh, relaying it to him they're keeping the scoring down to two so two more runs takes a total to 45 now we are in the 11th over Aurora bowls right arm over and that uh, quicker delivery coming into the back. He chops it down to the back of the uh, square on the offside. An easy run in the gap. 46 after 11. And that means 9 overs, 54 balls, uh, legal deliveries. So even if they score a single a ball, they can still get to 100, uh, which they should be thinking. No, fours and sixes don't matter. But yeah, 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 exactly. Well, it's it's easier to 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 sort of say that we've got 56 balls or 54 balls. But uh, I think, look, as we said before, 100, 100 is a uh, is a good score in a final. Chasing is always tough, and uh, and I believe uh, Stephen Lewis have a pretty formidable bowling attack as well. And. Uh, Another change bowler on that side now, or is he the bowler who bowled at the first? Yeah, uh, Rajat Aurora. And I think Stephen Lewis is looking for a total around 80 to 90 now. Right since and they're they pushed away into the gap, uh, they'll take a single. One more to the total, 47. Yeah, look, it's, it's quite difficult uh, getting runs uh, down the ground. A lot of players are looking to chip the ball in the air and uh, find the spaces. And uh, as we see Rajat coming into ball, oh, that's, it. Ooh, uh, that's, a, that's a tough nice chance, running. tough chance. And uh, you can say well done by Rajat come, coming yeah. into his follow through. Yeah, because he had to turn back and try to catch it. Uh, not an easy thing for a bowler when he's following through. And it was a good attempt, uh, ended up uh, giving away a single, a chance dropped, I would say, still uh, in the books. It'll be a drop chance, another one, the third one, I would say. And Aurora to the right-hander, who just uh, taps it down on the onside. The keeper coming around the field, and there's no chance of a run. The total uh, is 48 now. Forty-eight for two. We are in the twelfth over. Twelfth over. So we are just about four and over now. So they pushed it a little up. Uh, they fell behind four at one point when the two spinners were operating. 
Yeah, so they're coming back after the medium pace are coming back, right? The pressure is kind of releasing, right? They're taking it over their singles, doubles, right? Yeah, because as the ball is coming you need to be harder off. on the back, uh, it's easy to hit it. Because yeah. the spinners, you have to go after it to really force it. So now it's uh, the medium pace, Aurora. And that's, uh, well, he has just given away his, oh, that's a wide delivery, but he's jumped as well. Wide delivery, he tried to chase it. Was well outside his crease. The wicket keeper quickly took it and stumped. Batsman was way out of his crease. No chance of getting in. And that's the fourth wicket down. Malhotra. Yeah, Malhotra is gone. Ball wide down the leg side. Malhotra charging down. And the wicket keeper easily taking it and stumping. Malhotra had no chance. He was way down the wicket. So another wicket falls. Malhotra gone for 10. Stumped. And uh, yeah, that's not bad. Back. Ten runs of 17. That's not bad, right? So, but still, if you look at it, if they could have caught a little few, few more singles, it, so 17 balls, 10 runs. So if you could have grabbed say 15 of 17, the score would have been much better. Yeah. Uh, so I think the batsmen have been thinking of the big hits more than the singles. Uh, that's I think a little bit of experience as well. I mean, they learn as they go. Uh, you know, at, at a higher level, I'm sure you two have played. Uh, better cricket, uh, higher cricket, uh, and you would know what, how to tackle this kind of situation. Uh, Akash? Thank you. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's just about sort of getting that base. For me, for me uh, in a 2020 game, and in a, especially in a final, it's just about sort of knowing what my base score is. And I mean, if, if Stephen Lewis are planning on reaching that 100 mark, it will, it will be pretty, it will take a lot of work, to be honest, because they are already three down and lost uh, some of their prime batsmen and um, to build build an innings in, in the rest of the eight overs of these two guys will have to do a lot of work and uh, just to talk about the new batsman is Talha Tabish and bowling is uh, Aurora Talal, Talat right hander compact stance ooh and that came no. into him and then is the peel umpire got taking a good look at it uh, not out probably it was just missing leg stump uh, the way it moved probably it was just missing leg yeah, good delivery very, then very well bowled by uh, rajat and that brings an end to the over and, and let's look at the replay yeah see that oh it cut back right in it cut back right in it it did yeah it, it, it cut too much. It cut back too much. So good delivery then. So he does uh, get uh, the seam to cut off the pitch. Uh, good delivery then, Aurora. Yeah, the, uh, two of them we've seen. Uh, we also seen Karan getting that in swinger going a lot, where as well as Rajat. Rajat is getting that ball to shape in nice. In the game. And this is outside the off stump. A wide well outside the off stump. The batsman has nothing to do with it. He just watches it go by. Thank you very much. A single single scored. As the next delivery comes in, and this time it's on the pad and appeal. Uh, well, umpire is not moved probably again, missing leg stump. The way he was shaping, he was going to hit it onto the leg side, so the ball must have been missing leg. Again, the pressure is getting to them. They're looking for the big shots, and they're forgetting about the singles and doubles. And the next one has been pushed back on the offside to the field at short extra cover. So the runs are not coming, and we are in the 14th over, 49 for 3. And again, a swing and a miss. So the batsmen, uh, I think the nerves are catching up to them, I think. Yeah, and Jatin, Jatin's keeping it really tight here. Batsmen are having a hard time putting the ball away. And uh, just that odd, looking for that odd boundary. And again, another wide. So that's a bonus for the batsman. And that is the 50, is it on the board? Yes, 50 on the board now. We are in the 14th over. This one has been played and that beats the field at short mid on and the field at long on uh, stops the ball, doesn't pick it up cleanly and they take another single. One more to the total, takes it to 51 and the end of the over, no, not yet. 51 for three. 51 for three, that's what we see on screen and that one is outside the off step. It should be 55. Yeah. It's, it's 56 now. Yeah. 
Lofted it over mid on and they'll take two and uh, that's uh, a welcome stroke by the North Park batsman. Rather not by the Stephen Lewis batsman rather. Lewis batsman, and uh, two more to the total and uh, can we uh, check on the score? So Aurora to continue. Come on guys, open up, let's go guys. Okay, you can see sportsmanship between the fielders and the batsmen, helping him out, ties laces. And he's... Okay. Yeah. 14 completed. This is the 15th coming on. Fifty-eight for three now. If that's it, though. Sorry. Oh, there's a best field. Okay, there will be short. Another single. Score moves out to fifty-nine. So there's a 14th over going on. Oh, another going for a big hit and another wicked. All right, so Aurora picking up the wicket. Kern taking a, another catch. That's three catches for Kern. Great fielding. So 59 for three. Ethan Lewis looking for a big total, but not. No matter you take the singles and doubles. All right, so he scored eight of 25. He was under pressure, looking for the big shot, trying to get the fours and sixes in. Yeah, look, really good work done by uh, North Park here. The new batsman is uh, Vinong Dhawatta. Yep. And uh, another right hand batsman. Why, why, why? Yeah. That's a white call. So Aurora bowling another white. Moving the total on 60. Yeah, yeah, look, North, North, North Park seems to be giving away only extras at the moment. Uh, and uh, I think the batting team can sort of capitalize on that and sort of just build on the singles. And Aurora. And he's down the track and hits it high and there's uh, a fielder there. No, he can't get to it. It bounces just in front of him and they'll go through for two. So two more to the total. Uh, trying the big hit again. Didn't uh, time it again too well. Uh, just got it uh, past the wicket. So not many big hits yet except for the Bilal six and the four. And uh, nothing else. As Aurora comes in again, right arm over going to the right-hander and yeah, that's a good delivery, Come, cuts right back into him and he kept a bit low as well, managed to get his bat on it and push it on the own side to mid-wicket. And that is the end of the 14th over, yep. 62 for 4. Alright, so Jatin Aurora to continue, 6 overs to go. Max saving up his two prime seam boulders for the last couple of overs. Jatin Arora bowling to the new batsman, Delunga Havata, I think it is the right hander. Is it? That is Delunga Havata facing, yes. And that's outside the off stump. Pampa calls it a wide. So too far wide. Wicket keeper taking it cleanly. And that's 63, I think, now with that wide. So lots of wide being bowled. Delugavat uh, didn't know what happened there, he went down the track and uh, lucky he got something on it and the ball rolled down to short fine leg and no run. The keeper was waiting for that, Delugavat the fortunate, uh, he got something on it and the ball rolled down to fine leg. Aurora, 
And that's played out on the outside. They look for the single. They'll get it because the fielder has to move to his left from uh, fine leg to square leg. Single. Pretty good call. And uh, just with the stroke. And that's 65 now. Four. Behind the 15th over. In comes Aurora. And this is played out on the outside. And that's uh, down to fine leg. There's a chase for the fielder. But... Uh, Again, not hit very hard. He just scooped it away. A uh, little hesitant in playing that stroke. Uh, he got behind it and just paddled it around, kind of. Sixty-seven now. Four. Aurora. And that's played away on the onside. He gets the gap again. They'll take one as the fielder that's comes it, around it. from fine leg to square leg field. One more to the rest to score. So a few runs coming now. Sticking by. Right uh, decent partnership building up. Yeah, look, that's what that's all they've got to do. I mean, last three balls they've got four four runs and, and uh, just again, yes, that's another single. single. Easily played down to that fine leg. Fielder has to move to his right to field. Another single. So. These two are doing the right thing, pushing it into the gaps, taking the singles, taking the total to 69 4. So, and, uh, still a little bit of time for the uh, Stephen Lewis batsman to make a good score. Yeah, I think they just have to take the singles, right? So that I think there are five more overs left. Yes. Right, so five overs, they're like a 70 in round, right? 30 more runs, that's 100. Yeah. And that's a yeah, really good total. Can, yeah, they can still make competitive score here if they keep their heads and uh, uh, use the tactics uh, that is required, uh, just pushing it to the gaps, singles. And uh, we have the bowler, is Delunga Havat on four, and Tabish on eight. It's uh, Delunga Havat on strike, the right hand. It's Abish, bowls, and that's a wild thing, and he's given him, he's given him. Tried played right across, and ball, there are the stamps, and Sabesh strike, they look to have at the out LBW, and pick at balls. Trying to sweep the ball, missed it completely. And I'm sure we'll have a replay on that, I'm sure that was a dead straight delivery, they look to have at the try to play right across it. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was right in front, okay. and he was on his knee, the ball striking with the tire, but he was right in front, plum LBW. Delunga with the goes for four, LBW to Sabesh. And that's the fifth ticket down. And okay, coming in to nice. bat is Ali Irfan. He's Ali. the new right hand batsman. And uh, yeah, he's he's got a job to do now. Ali A Irfan. Right hander. So we only seen one left hand at the top of the inning and everybody has been right handed. And the off spinner Sabes to bowl to Irfan. And that's down the left side. Easily called a wide. So Sabes uh, just has to attack the batsman, just pull it on the stumps. Uh, they got them on the run. And uh, doesn't have to do too much. That's it. He pulls it on the stumps this time. Irfan forward in defense. No chance of a run. 70 for 5. 16th over. Sabes bowling his fourth and final. That's his fourth over. The Max is finishing up as um, right one of his spinners. Over. And that's played out on the onside. This oh, could be quite close. Well, it's direct hit. And we are waiting for the umpire's goal. That's the best we got it. That was, uh, that's interesting. Is it the replay for that? Because I uh, thought that was out. I, 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 feel, I feel that the Bills were... I felt, I felt that the... The bears were dislodged Let's see. by the keeper no, before. That's played on the onside. Direct hit. Oh well, Ooh. he's not in the frame even. The batsman is not in the frame. And, uh, I think the umpire gave it out. Yeah, he's the giving him out. Yes, yeah. uh, the umpire. Uh, umpire was. It was so obvious. Oh. I think so. <laughs> umpire didn't have to signal. The batsman knew he was out. <laughs> And 
Tabej run out for eight. So the sixth wicket, was that the sixth wicket for him? Yeah, six wicket. I think now it's just like the, it's they the won yeah, five, six runs from every batsman that they have, right? Oh, and there's an the appeal. Well, umpires is because on the back foot, probably got a little touch on it. Looked uh, pretty adjacent to the stumps there. And Sabez now in again. And that's played out of the oh, open. Oh, that's a lovely bit of field in there. The fielder at short extra cover, moving to his left and picking it off. And that's another wicket gone. So Stephen Lewis crumbling here. A big collapse in the middle order. Sabe strikes again. That was an excellent catch. Max Joshi just stepping up his game, showing why he's a national player. And that was a skip by Max. And Mangat walks with a duck. Well, well, yeah, the duck has to walk. <laughs> And uh, well, well, that was a lovely bit of fielding and Max moving quickly to his right, up his stroke by the batsman and he plucked it off, moving to his right, diving and uh, very good bit of fielding. So, and the new batsman in, Z Patel. A right-handed batsman, so I think they only have one left hand yeah. side. And, the, and it's, it's amazing how the two off spinners have been able to keep the right handers quiet because they would have been bowling into the, they would have been able to hit it with the spin. Oh, and that's played out on the onside, and Spatel off the mark, so he gets a single. Well, that's wonderful. This 71 for seven. Is it seven now? 71 for six. Seven. 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 Yes. Seven. And the final ball of the 16th over. Or the over's done. It's over Max done. Joshi bringing it. Oh, it's, it's over. Back in. So 16 overs complete. 71 for seven. 16 overs gone. Four to go. And it's uh, Max coming back into the attack. Got a couple of wickets already. And a very good catch. He bowls to Patel. Patel plays it uh, uh, like a, it's a bit of a stand and deliver stroke. I think that almost passed. carried to the fielder. Yeah, that was really uh, close to uh, There's no footwork uh, by Patel at all. He's just standing there and hoping for the best. As Max bowls, there he goes. Throws his batter into wide. Down wide out to the off stump. So he's lucky this time. It's wide. One more to the total. So Max. In again. And again he's beaten outside the off stump. So Max I think he wants to wrap this up fast, doesn't he? Yeah, he seems he just wants to sort of uh, attack the batsman as quickly as he can and doesn't wanna give and him much time. Oh, oh. And uh, that's very well caught. And that's, that's another well good catch by, at slip uh, this time. Another Raja. wild swing by Patel, edged and a diving catch at slip. And another wicket fall. So the two spinners, Max and Sabez, have done the damage. And there he goes. Yeah, that's he's a pretty good catch. Pretty good. Stephen Lewis is falling apart, I think, now. Right after their fourth and fifth batsman got out, right? They're just falling apart. And. Uh, Patel gone for one. Caught at slip of Max. That was Max's third wicket, I think. And we are in the 17th over. And uh, will they last out 20 overs? What do you think, Mandish? I don't think so. I think Max Joshi is going to bring it back his two prime seamers, right, and try to finish this off less than 80. In my opinion, I think Max might want to finish it off. 72 for 8, 17th over, new batsman in is Iqbal. H. Iqbal, right handed again. 72 for 8. And Max to the new batsman, Iqbal. Iqbal tries to force it on the onside, doesn't get a hold of it properly, plays it to short square leg. There's a fielder there stopping the single. No run. Max in again to Iqbal. Quicker delivery, Iqbal pushing it out on the offside nice and to extra cover and they run with the stroke and get it. And that's overthrows and uh, poor bit of backing up there. There was no fielder backing up the throw and they get an extra run. So one more.
two runs in all to Iqbal. He's off the mark. And it's the end of the over. See, as I said, he's going to bring back his prime bowlers. Gurn coming back into the attack for his third over. So 17. 17 gone. 74 for 8. And Norton. Curran, who, who held three catches already. Yeah, three catches, and he bowled a really good spell at the beginning. So I think Curran. he's trying to finish it off right now. North Park just trying to... And Curran, uh, very long run up. Quick bowler. Let's see what he can do to these tailenders. Just, uh, just going back to the run-out confusion we had, we actually, I thought, initially thought that the uh, bales had been dislodged by the keeper, but we noticed that uh, the bales are actually taken off by the umpires. The conditions are getting a bit windy. Oh, well. So the, the bales have been uh, taken off, and they're judging just based on the ball hitting the stump. Well, good observation, Akash. Um, and Karan bowling to... The right-hander, right arm over, and that's through him. Uh, I think uh, the batsman, I don't think, was anywhere near him. It was through him before he got to it. So current, uh, current speed, I think, is... I think if current pitches it on the wing... And this offside. And the single, single to extra cover, takes it to 75, we are in the 18th over, Third, three balls gone of the 18th over, so two and a half overs to go, 15 balls, let's see whether the uh, Stephen Lewis uh, tail enders can swing it a bit here, as current balls, no he can't, it's through him again. Yeah, look, current, current's keeping a good line in length, and uh, the Stephen Lewis uh, batsmen are just sort of trying to trying to finish this. Their 20 overs, allocated 20 overs. They don't want to lose a wicket, and they just want to sort of get as many runs as they can. But uh, current is keeping a good line line in length. Current tries to, and oh, that is another appeal for a run out uh, by the umpire. That looks like quite close to me. Yeah, yeah those I think the batsman is in. Umpire. Edward, not uh, moved. Let's see the replay, just to check out the replay. I think it was a lot closer than, than we, we can sort of see from the naked eye. Yeah, that was pretty close. Yeah, so we just missed out the last maybe benefit. benefit to the batsman. Yeah, the benefit of the doubt given by the umpire. And there's another wide delivered by Curran. So another single moves the total to 77. 77 for the 8 now. So so Curran trying to break through this tail in a game and that's hammered away oh and it's very well caught good hit but a very good catch at uh, square leg and uh, i thought the fielder was taken by surprise the way he took it because it came so quickly to him yeah i thought he uh, i thought the fielder thought the ball was going up, up, up above him and then he quickly uh, it was coming to yeah him. he put his hands out there and it got <laughs> it stuck in there and uh, yeah <laughs> Yeah, that, that was hit pretty well, and uh, the fielder did a pretty good job to pluck that one out of the air. The thing is, he moved at the right time, you know. Yeah, uh, and he got it. He got it pretty close to him, and so he could have also recovered had he right. fumbled a bit. So a good bit of fielding again. New batsman. Good catch. Yeah. See, you can see he was taken by surprise the way he took it. But anyway, the end result was it was a good catch. So Karan gets a wicket. New batsman in. Uh, it's uh, Hamad Mirza, left-hand bat. We finally see another left-hand. Well, at the very well, well, tail end of the inning, Mirza, the left-hander, and he will take strike. The batsman having crossed, and that was the end of the over. And it's Max to bowl his fourth and final over at 77 for nine, the 19, the penultimate over of the inning. And. Uh, yeah, look, Max. Max just wants to finish this off quickly. It seems like uh, he thinks he's the man to to get this last wicket. So Mirza, the left-hander, and of course, obviously he has the slip for the ball spinning away. Uh, let's see. It's just, uh, yeah, slip is now getting closer. Okay, he has to no. Yes, change in the batting. Mirza changed. The right-hander taking strike. Yeah, so Mirza is on the non-strikers end. Yeah. So they change the batsman around, and it's. 
Oh, and oh, oh and this could be trouble. This could be trouble. Uh, yes, that's, that's a direct hit. hit. And uh, that is the end of the inning. A run out. A good bit of feeling again. A direct hit. The batsman was way out. And the Stephen Lewis innings has come to an end. The, the replay will show the batsman was nowhere in the frame. And there you go. Here it comes. Everyone! Direct hit. Direct. And the batsman nowhere in the frame. Yeah, he comes now. But it's too late. So at the end of it, the end of 20 overs, uh, Stephen Lewis has managed 77. And uh, they did not get through all their 20 overs of batting. And I think that's going to, that, that's something they'll have to sort of consider again whenever they bat. And uh, also coming into bowl, I think uh, they'll just uh, look into what, how North Park have managed their bowling and their fielding and uh, take, take some notes from there. I think 80 runs is going to be a decent total, right? It's a decent total, and it's going to be hard for North, um, North Park to chase, the, taking into account the conditions that are here, right? The outfield's not... Uh, yeah, as I said, you know, the outfield is still very heavy, um, and we didn't see any big hits except for those two by Bilal. Uh, so I don't know how, uh, with, uh, how strong the batters are of uh, the uh, North Park team are. I mean, if there may be big hitters there. And it depends on how they bowl. I mean, if they keep to a plan, bowl on one side of the wicket, on a good length, without giving any wides and no balls. Okay. And just to just to overall look at the, the, the batting scorecard, starting off with uh, Mohamed Sayed and Bilal Khan getting a good start, but uh, a lot of the lower order and the middle order batsmen not getting through and a lot of uh, balls had been wasted. Um, We'll come back to you right after this break uh, as uh, North Park comes into bat and they will be chasing 78. Welcome back to Sunnybrook Park again guys as we see uh, uh, Stephen Lewis will be chasing down the score. I mean, uh, sorry, uh, beg your pardon. It will be North Park chasing down the score that Stephen Lewis has posted. They will be chasing 78. And as we take a look at the highlights of the first innings from Stephen Lewis, uh, the openers got a pretty decent start. And uh, just where it seemed like it seemed like the the middle of batsman couldn't really capitalize on that. What do you think, Amrash? Yes, uh, the uh, openers started off well. But then the wicket started to tumble, the pressure built up and the rest of the batsmen just uh, crumbled under pressure and uh, they were out for just 78 runs. Yeah, and I think the, the spinners did a pretty pretty good job uh, for, for North Park and the, they tightened down the, the batsmen of Stephen Lewis. Yeah, I think that's what uh, Stephen Lewis is going to uh, try to take into account that the bowlers for North Park were that really damaged them were the spinners, right? So they're going to want the, their spinners to do the same for them, right? Yep, and uh, early on we seen uh, North Park fumble a few in the field, but uh, later on they got they got a couple of runouts uh, and they, they take some good catches. Okay, so it. So we are just about to start the inning. Sebastian's taking the strike, and Max Joshi is on the non-strikers end. Both national players for Canada are opening for North Park. And the first delivery to the right-hander, that's uh, pushed away on the own side. And the bowler feels it well, onto his left, clean. Max Josie is the north striker. And uh, just Sabesh. to get on the bowler, the bowler... Uh, no, it's, uh, it's Sabesh on strike. And the bowler, the bowler is uh, Ali Irfan, sorry, just to get a confirmation, it's Ali Irfan coming in from uh, yeah. and uh, Ali Irfan quite a quite a tall tall lad and uh, uh, well solidly built uh, young man uh, fits uh, the fast bowlers profile very well long run up and the bowling right arm over and the bowling to Max Sabes uh, and right hander and that's short of a length and Max uh, pulls him around along the ground though down to back of the five square legs the fine leg field of fumbles but they only settle for one so the first run is on the board yeah it was it was hit uh, straight to the, the 
the fielder at uh, backward square leg and uh, that bumper really gave that run away. Otherwise, it would have been a close call. Yeah, and it's uh, this is what uh, uh, Srivanu should do. Yeah, it's Joshi. Max, Max Joshi. Joshi taking the strike now. And the skipper. He did very well with the ball. And uh, let's see what he's going to do with the bat. Uh, and he'll, I'm sure he'll try to lead the charge uh, for the batters. Try to get to this total as the next delivery, the first one. And he just uh, nicely played off his toes, back for a square. There's a fielder chasing it down to the boundary. It will not reach it. And they'll take two easy runs. So ball pitch on the leg stump, just flicked away off his pads, back to a square, two runs. And Max Josie is off. Two on the board for him. A very good looking shot. And uh, both these backs will look very compact. Joshi. Max Josie. And Josie is on two now, facing up to the next delivery. Popping ball. And that's left alone outside the off stump. Some of the arms went up of the fielders, but uh, Max had it uh, read very well. He just uh, lifted his bat and let it go through to the keeper. Max Joshi. Max Josie again, ball. And that's left alone outside the off stump. Uh, so Iqbal is generating some uh, some pace off the wicket, don't you think so? Yeah, yeah, he's a, he's a tall guy and uh, he'll have to run in hard in order to, to defend this total for his team. But I think what the Stephen Lewis should do is bring on the spinners because that's the um, bowlers from North Park that did the damage. I know. And the new bowler, as we see for the second over, is Bilal Khan. We've seen Bilal uh, attack and uh, get some runs on the board in the first innings. Let's see how he does with the ball. And that's uh, squirted away on the offside, down to third man. The ball does not reach the boundary. As I said, this uh, thick outgrowth uh, uh, in the back, uh, the outfield, uh, doesn't allow the ball to run to the boundary. Two runs. So Sabez and Max Bilal B Khan Bilal Khan right arm over outside the off stump. Umpire takes a look at it, but uh, not the call of wide. It's uh, within. Yeah, look, that's exactly the channel, and that's exactly the the the, the deliveries that uh, Stephen Lewis uh, bowlers will have to keep bowling and just get the dot balls. Oh, <laughs> well, there's a loud appeal. Now, let's see, we should take a look at the replay if we can on that one. Well, it was missing leg stamp, missing leg stamp. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, they just no, appeal. It, it hit the pad. It hit the pad. So that's why they appealed for the leg before. So there was a touch on the uh, batsman. That's why. Again, the similar delivery. This time he get it, gets it on the bat, and it's down to fine leg. They'll take two again. So Iqbal bowling that in swing, bowling uh, the line is a little off. He should bowl it a little further out on the off stump. He's bowling it on the middle stump and it, uh, drifting down the leg stump, and the batsman can just tuck it away down to fine leg. So two more, and that's eight now on the board. Bilal Khan, and this time it's a wide, way wide, wide. and a good take by the keeper. Yeah, Diving very, to his left. Very well done by that the rabbit keeper. Next. More runs if he did. It's a good take by the keeper then. Yeah, look, this, is, this is exactly what uh, Stephen Lewis can't afford, and uh, they're going to have to really tighten up the screws here. And again, that same line, he's bowling that in swing on the leg stump and they just tuck it away on the onside for runs and another single for uh, Sabes. The batsmen are finding it pretty easy going at the moment. Yeah, I think he's getting his um, line wrong. He wants to go from off stump to middle stump and he's just bowling from middle to lob, yeah. up middle to leg, right. and which is not going to no. the favor. In again, this time he's bowling to max. And this time it's a better line on the off stump, short of a leg. Max behind it, pushing it to extra cover, and no chance of a run. Yeah, Max looking, Max looking really, really strong at the moment. That's a, that's a good backward, back foot punch, and uh, the batters haven't really seemed to struggle against uh, the Stephen Lewis bowlers. And at the end of, uh, at the end of two overs, the score is at nine ten. 
10. Sorry, sorry. Ten, yep. ten yeah, without your pardon, loss. it's 10 without any loss. Yeah. And, uh, and the two batsmen really looking confident out there. And uh, they're very compact players, I can see, as uh, the third over comes up. And they push it away on the offside, gently. And the two batsmen, they know there is no hurry. There are plenty of overs to play with. And I'm sure these are the two key batsmen for uh, North Park as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These two guys, uh, these two guys have done the job uh, for North Park recently in the semi-finals as well. So they just need to, they just need to tuck it around and, and, and get to that 78. And that's exactly what Sabes did there. He didn't go for the big hit. Just ball pitch on the leg stump. Just tucks it down to fine leg for another single. Keeps uh, total moving, and that's what they need to do just to keep the pressure on the bowlers. And the bowlers a little on too much on the leg stump right now. I think that's too fun to fix that. The captain has to go talk to the bowlers and, and it's a wide. See, still the line. Uh, they're still going down on the leg stump and uh, ended up uh, bowling a wide this time. And it's allowing the batsman to get those singles down to that fine leg area. He comes in again and bowls to Max Josie, right hander, waits for him. And that shot pulled away. That's a solid uh, stroke. Uh, that could go all the way, would it? Well, let's see. No, I don't think. Well, it's, a, it's quite a long boundary as well. And they run well, though. They run three. So Max, behind it, short of a length, pulled it to square leg. Very good stroke indeed. Unfortunately, the, the heavy outfield didn't allow it to go to the boundary. Three more runs. 14 now. And it's Sabez is on strike. In comes balls and outside the off stump, left alone. Yeah, look for for me, uh, Stephen Lewis just got to believe that they can pull this off. The the body language on the field doesn't seem to 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 be too pro, too well at the moment, and they don't look too positive about the total that they've got. But uh, to for me, any total total is good, and they just got to believe and then play hard. Exactly. And this time it's hit hard as to a long on. Uh, Sobez was actually aiming to play it on the offside, mistimed and played it down to long on. No chance of a run. So, yeah. not not much energy from the field and from uh, Stephen Lewis. 15. And oh, that's a wild swing uh, by Sabez, uh, very uncharacteristic of him. Uh, I don't think there's any need for that kind of stroke play, do you think? Exactly, that there's no need for that, and that's exactly what Stephen Lewis is looking for, right? They want the batsmen to make the mistakes. So, uh, Sabez lucky not to uh, do something rash there. That was not the ideal stroke to play. Uh, they're going along quite soundly, uh, 14 after 3, after three that's fine. chasing 78. Plenty of overs to play with. Yeah, I think Max is just talking to him right now, saying how we should just settle it, take the doubles and singles. That should be fine to chase the total now. Yeah. 64 runs in 102 balls, so yeah. there's no rush at all. There's no rush at all, and I think the captain of Steven Lewis should uh, get his players together, right? He should, he should tell the fielders to uh, play strong, right? Help the bowlers out, yeah. help each other out. They got to move uh, beyond their toes, you know, anticipate. As uh, we have a changed uh, bowler, a spinner coming on to bowl. The yeah. first spinner, well, he holds up uh, the bowlers to Tabish. Tabish, the first spinner from the uh, Stephen Lewis's team, bowling right arm around the wicket to the skipper, Joshi, Max. And that's a good length delivery, pushed out on the offside, straight to the short extra cover field, and no chance of a run. I think this is a good sign that the captain of Stephen Lewis is thinking, right? He wants the batsmen to uh, start playing, right? He has a fielder. That's that on the field. He's like, okay, go over the field. We'll yeah. try to stop the singles. Yeah, he, he has the field at attacking positions uh, pretty close, dropping the singles, which is a good tactic as he bowls. And well, now the line was not right there. Going down the leg side, that swept away, no. back to the square. That's a chase, and that has gone all the way for four. Very well hit by Max Josie. Right off the middle of the bat. And he's very strong on the onside. Yeah. We saw that pull shot earlier, and now he has got that sweep shot. And that's fetched him four runs. As both opening batsmen from North Park are looking great, especially Max Joshi, he's l looking at fine touches. Onside is really solid. And he waits for Tabish again, short of a length. And he go, oh, he tried to pull him through, but didn't get hold of it well. But he still manages to get it through a deep mid wicket for another single. 
total 19. Akash, what are your thoughts at this moment? One sided, uh, one sided. <laughs> well, well, as we, if we, if I am to compare, I think uh, Stephen Lewis also got a good start, right? And uh, they didn't lose too many wickets, but it's a funny game. And uh, as usual, Stephen Lewis just gotta keep believing in the, in themselves and uh, just pick up wickets. One wicket can do anything, right? Mm, yeah, cricket is such a wonderful game that way, you know, unpredictable. And there he goes. <laughs> wild yep, that's, that's exactly the energy they need. Doesn't uh, matter. Stop. By Sabe. So Sabe is uh, looking to attack uh, and ended up hitting it down to the field. Eh? Uh, here comes Tabish again. And this time again, uh, ball kept a bit low that time. Uh, he had it covered anyways and played it on the onside of the field at short picket. No chance and of a run. At the end of four overs, we've got a total of 19. 19 after yeah. four. Yeah, it's still going well. Right, if they keep on doing this, they'll win the game easily. Right? Yeah. They don't have to do anything uh, fancy. Just keep it simple. And uh, Joshi uh, asking for something. He's signaling to the dugout, um, asking for something. Anyways, it's going to be Iqbal, is it, to continue? Or? No, it's Ali. 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 Yeah. Ali. Ali. And that's a hard drive down to long off. Well played by Sabesh. Uh, Max, rather. Max, another single. So Max is looking very confident out there. He's middling it very well. Yeah, and he's not doing anything fancy, just singles, doubles, right? And waiting for the loose doll, he delivered yeah. it to really punish it. And it'll be Sabes facing the next delivery. And oh, yeah. close. That and he's given, he's given this time. That ball kept a bit low. Sabes on the crease, ball keeping low and struck right in front, I think. We'll see the, uh, the replay of it anyways. It looked pretty clean out here. A plum decision and uh, there's the first wicket. Uh, Sabes is gone. 20 for 1. Akash? Yeah, look, just exactly what I was talking about and just exactly what North Park did not need, right? And uh, Sabes tried to play that uh, that big oh, heave on the leg side that earlier. Was going and um, and uh, that was, that it, look, it, looked, it looked a lot uh, closer than we think. I think uh, it might have, the might, have, sure. might have clipped the uh, leg stump also or middle and leg or so. So Sabes is gone and uh, Next batsman, Kern Patel, is walking to the crease. So Kern Patel who opened the bowling. He's going in. Sabez is dismissed. And uh, can uh, Stephen Lewis do something uh, more now? They got the first breakthrough that they needed. And the new batsman coming in is uh, Karan Patel. Karan Patel, we saw him bowl earlier. Bowled pretty well. He'll have to do the job with the batting now. Well, that's a long, uh, long way to go for uh, the, that team. There's only one wicket down, so it's plenty of time, uh, plenty of overs, and uh, Josie is still there. So, um, in my opinion, I think they should give uh, Josie all the support. Somebody has to play the anchor and let Josie do the job. And yeah, exactly. And I think that's the role current plays, right? The game that he played against Naki, right? He was the one that defends, right? Mm -hmm. He takes the singles and doubles, right? Gives the strike to Max, right? And he gets himself a lot. And he's a left-hander. Yeah, he's a left-handed so batsman. That, that makes it a little difficult for the bowler because now he has to change his angle. Coming uh, right arm over the wicket though, still. And that's pushed away and that's down to that third man area for another single. So Karan is off the mark easily. And that's exactly what he should be doing. Just push it around and let uh, Max, his skipper, uh, who looks the more attacking and more competent than confident batsman at the moment, to do the major part of the damage. Yep, and for Steven Lewis, it's just about uh, keeping the new batsman on strike because as, uh, as many wickets as they can get and uh, it would be ideal if they actually can get Joshi out. Oh, that's out there, the off-stump. Joshi uh, tries to uh, smash it on the offside, no, play no, it under it. That was a pretty pacey delivery there from uh, Ali. So Ali, you know, Joshi, lucky not to get a touch on that one. The wicketkeeper seems uh, pretty good out there, and, uh, and this time it's played on the onside. That's down to long on, an easy single. There's a fumble at the far uh, field there, but uh, they're easy to do single anyways. And another single. So brings Karan on strike. So Joshi moves on to the non-strikers then, uh, with a total of 23 for one now. And we are in the fifth over, the final delivery of the fifth over coming up, and it'll be Karan on strike, the left-hander. Balls and that's yeah. uh, a wide. <laughs> There's an appeal for a caught behind. 
But the umpire wasn't interested at all. Yeah, and uh, so uh, that was actually off probably something, but uh, it was called a white anyways, down the leg side. It comes the right arm busy to Curran. Curran defensively pushing it, and this stand will go for a single, and the ball uh, ended up uh, going towards uh, short square leg. Another appeal, but that was off the bat. So At the end of five overs, uh, the total is 24 for one. Let's see the replay for that. Oh, that was an inside edge for that. So yeah, uh, just uh, just uh, just to talk about uh, this whole tournament and uh, how uh, how well Seema has actually done to to promote cricket uh, in Toronto and not not just Toronto, but I mean in all the all the other cities, Mississauga, Brampton, and how well Seema has developed over the years. What do you think, Amresh? Well. Um I know uh, the man behind it, I must talk of him, uh, Ranil Mendes, whom I have known for many, many years, and he has been the uh, main uh, source of uh, inspiration for the, all of these uh, effort. And Titabish, and uh, he has uh, brought this to a certain standard here that we have a tour to England every year. We call it the Cross the Pond uh, Trigger Tour, uh, which we did last year, and I was fortunate enough to be uh, chosen as coach to go. And uh, Akash, you have been on that tour. Mandish, you have been on that tour. So, two of you, you have the experience of going across the pond or to, the, uh, to England to play on those lovely turf wickets. And uh, it's a great experience for youngsters, right? You go in there meeting uh, other cricketers from uh, England, right? You play on their pitches, right? It's a completely different experience, right? And you don't get those grounds here, right? Well, uh, most importantly, the uh, when you look at it in terms of uh, just uh, cricket in Canada, I think Seema uh, is, is uh, one of the, the leading supporters of cricket in Canada. And um, to to sort of get this, get this forward, you have to start from uh, the roots, as we say, and uh, doing this schools tournament is sort of uh, just promote, just very well promoting the sport of cricket, and it's it's gathering attention of a lot of youngsters that want to be a part of uh, this UK trip. This UK trip is uh, this UK trip is one of the the better tours that uh, these uh, these uh, youngsters youngsters can uh, go on, and uh, yeah, as we say, England is is the is the home of cricket and right. uh, to experience right. experience that and playing in those conditions is is, uh, is a challenge and uh, getting back to the game here we just saw the comparison of the two teams at this stage uh, not much to choose from uh, 25 and 26 at this stage uh, for the one wicket so uh, yeah 26 for no wicket and 25 for one so uh, at this stage uh, Stephen Lewis were a little ahead yeah they <laughs> didn't lose any wickets right their openers were still there yeah, so, uh, but anyways, we still have Max Josie out there and Curran, who's seemingly batting very confidently as well. Uh, just the one wicket down, Sabez. As the spinner bowls, uh, the next delivery has uh, driven down to long on for another single. And uh, so, uh, the, the singles matter most now, yeah, not the, the big hits. The batsmen are looking comfortable there, right? And that's the important thing. Just take the uh, singles, put the fuel under pressure, right? Yeah. Yeah, look, uh, just to... To, to compare that as well. I mean, uh, Stephen Lewis didn't manage to get too many, too many singles, and that was their downfall. So and there goes Curran, a hard to. hit, and that's well middle, and that's beaten the fielder. Will it go all the way? No, he just pulls just inside the boundary there, and they'll take two more runs. So Curran, uh, he's he can force that deliveries. Yeah, uh, as, as I was yeah. as I was saying, uh, just uh, these singles and doubles are are what North Park were will have to do differently than uh, than Stephen Lewis and uh, yeah they, it, it, it's not looking too difficult for them at the moment mm -hmm. uh, the only only thing Stephen Lewis should try to do is uh, try to bowl a line and uh, try to bowl a couple of uh, tight overs to push the pressure back onto the uh, batsman uh, which doesn't seem to be happening at the moment uh, they are trying to go for the wickets which is also a must, must. but uh, if they're not getting the wickets tightening uh, the scoring rate. That's uh, what they'll have to do. Yeah, so they should bring the fielders close in, right, and stop the extras. That's the main thing. Nothing extra should be. And there goes Max. And, and way he's gone. And Max Josie has been dismissed. And uh, what a big ball. So Max was trying to force it on the onside. Probably the ball did a little bit on, off the pitch. And he lobbed it to a short extra cover. And I'm sure we might be able to see this uh, replay, how uh, he, his downfall happened. 
Uh, he was going to play it on the onside. Uh, the ball just popped. Maybe it stood up a little bit. Yeah, I think it was a top edge. Right? Uh, and and it was a leading to, edge that. Yeah. Let's see. Here he bowls. Yeah, see, he plays on the onside, but it's a, yeah, it's a top edge. It's a leading edge, leading edge, edge I would say. And uh, there was an easy catch to the extra cover fielder. And uh, Stephen Lewis. Uh, I think this should give a lot of hopes to Stephen Lewis, right? And it started yes. raining. And no, oh my goodness, the weather has changed too. Uh oh. The it's rain down. The rain seems to be quite uh, heavy at the moment, and the umpires will have to I think they will consider, call it off. consider what to do next. Well, let's see what. Uh, the, the players don't seem to be want to go up. <laughs> yeah, the players <laughs> yeah. want to play. I'm sure uh, Stephen game. Lewis will not want to come out. Uh, they are doing so well at the moment, taking the wicket of Joshi. Yeah. So uh, if uh, if the rain continues, then uh, we'll have to go for the Stephen Lewis uh, uh, Dutch. Uh, what do you call that? Duckway Lewis. Duckway Duck Lewis. Lewis, Duck Lewis. Lewis. <laughs> I think Stephen Lewis will win that from there. Yeah. Because they're, they're, they're ahead, at, they're at, the ahead at this moment. Yes. Yeah. Anyhow. Uh, yeah. Well, as as the rules are uh, in 2020 cricket, after six overs, the Duckway Lewis method can be applied. Had. Uh, Stephen Lewis not bowled uh, six overs, yeah, then, uh, and then, then they would have, have to reschedule this game. Well, they go for that single, they have the next delivery, the I new think batsman. The umpires are calling it off. And the umpires are, are they? No, 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 never mind, no, never mind. They are changing uh, ends or what? The umpires seem quite hesitant to, no, to uh, get off the field. Well, I, I hope this is just a passing shower and we can continue Where's with the, the game guys? and uh, the have a, a real finish, not, not the Duck Lewis uh, stuff, you know. I think everyone wants to uh, uh, watch the game fully. Yeah. Right. And it's an interesting game. Both really good teams. Right. Champion teams. And there's another there's appeal. Um, what's happened there? Nothing. Nothing. The umpire well, was there. Umpire is not good. I think the bat hit the ground. Right. Yeah. And let, there's the replay. Yeah. See oh, the bat. It's way the outside the outside the bat. He played under it. it yeah. There was no edge on that one. The bat hit the ground and yeah. got a good call by the umpire. And the rain is getting a little heavier now. And that's a wide down the leg side. Yes, one more run. 30 now for two. And the rain is coming uh, heavily down now. And uh, I think it's a matter of uh, moments now for the umpires to decide. But they are continuing. They are manfully staying out there. The players don't want to go off. As the next delivery comes up, Karan. The left-hander edges it down to third man. There's a fielder there. No chance of a run. Now, uh, oh, oh. I rain. think Stephen Lewis will have to be really careful, right? If, if they bowl extras at this moment, right, they could actually lose this match because of the extras right. that they concede. And if North Park just get ahead of them, and the range is getting heavier right, and heavier rain, as yeah, I say that. Passing down and, uh, and, uh, and the commentators uh, box, we are getting wet as well. But however, the game's carried on. And uh, <laughs> the, rain, the rain is really coming down now. Uh, and I, I would hope to see that the umpires actually take well, umpires, come He doesn't off look interested. Yeah, like, I want to play. <laughs> it seems as if the umpire is really into the game as well. Yeah, probably they are waterproof uh, <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> And that played out on the on. It's another white call. And, uh, and the rain is, well, the rain is really uh, heavy. Now. They're calling it off. They're I calling it off. Finally, they <laughs> are going to come off now. Yeah, look, this is definitely not the fitting uh, end that we possibly want. Uh, but uh, we don't really have much of a choice as the rain comes down really hard at the moment at Sunnybrook Park. All right, so the player, players are getting off, right? The umpires are getting off. Let's just hope the rain goes away and we get the game back on, on the field, right? And just as we, just as we look at the scorecard at the moment, uh, North Park are currently sitting at 30 for two, and uh, two of their better, the top order batsmen have, uh, have been out, and uh, they are chasing and 78. No, are 78 for head. We will wait and see what the umpires decide about this game. It seems quite heavy. The rain doesn't seem to be wanting to stop at the moment and we will see if the umpires decide on Duckworth Lewis or not. Alright, so we'll be back after break. Let's play some ball.
and uh, here we go again. The rain has rain has ceased, and the play is back on. And that didn't take too long. Uh, it's a passing shower as I expected. And uh, now let's see what the underfoot conditions are going to be. We might have some slip sliding and away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and yeah. here we go. Here's the medium pacer. Well, let's see how his footholds are going to be. Well, he's fine. And Karen confidently pushing it out of the offside into the covers. No run. So nothing seems to have changed. The fielders don't look to have trouble fielding right now. Seventh over, uh, I've been bored. I know, that's what I'm worried. Yep, uh, just staying at uh, 30 for two, as we were saying, and uh, seventh over is finished. That last ball had to be bowled as the rain interrupted, uh, but uh, we're back on the field, and uh, yeah, it was quite a heavy passing shower there, though. <laughs> and uh, we got an extra bit of shower for ourselves, and uh, the first delivery outside the off stump, and an appeal for a caught behind uh, the two left handers in the middle right now. Yeah, it's going to be tough for the spinners to grip the ball. And the new batsman is name. We lost all our papers. It's, uh, down the leg side, he tries to swing it around. Umpire calls it a wide. One more to the total. So it's 31 now. Tala, Tala is the bowler continuing, and. Uh, Lakshan is the batsman on so strike. Lakshan, the left-hander. Good length delivery. That's hit down oh, to... Uh, right there. Oh, oh, and he's gone. He is gone. Another wicket has fallen. An easy, well-judged catch at long on. That was a good length delivery. The batsman just half-heartedly uh, went for the big one and has just uh, skied it to the field at long on. And that's the third wicket down. And another good wicket. Another wicket right now? Uh, not him, no. One, 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 sorry. One more, we're ahead of the rain. So, Lakshan Gigana is the batsman dismissed. Right, so walking back. And uh, the new batsman coming in is. The new batsman coming in is Riaz, is what I've been told. Riaz. Riaz, and that was that stroke which uh, caused the demise of uh, Lakshan. Very well judged catch at long on. Yeah, very well done, uh, especially with the wet ball. Wet ball, yeah, he had it well covered, and uh, that's how uh, you take a high catch anyways. And uh, the sun is coming out again, which is a good sign. And uh, let's see where we go from here as we st uh, wait, wait for the new batsman. Uh, Riaz? Riaz. Yep. Riaz shake. I think Karan and Riaz will have to play smart for a couple of overs. Right? Just stick in there. Right? And and hope uh, the sun comes well, out. Well, the batsmen have to change their ends. Is it? Oh no, Karan is having a word with the new batsman Riaz. And uh, let's see what their strategy is. Shall we push and run or go for the big ones? And uh, here we go. Right arm around the wicket to Karan and Karan uh, hammers it away down to backward square there's a chase for the fielder I think that's a boundary and, and that's gone all the way well the wet field seems to help the ball is kidding around now yeah that's a really poor delivery from and, uh, so Karan gets a no, boundary to move there. the score to 34 keep one back there I think it's 38 for 3 yeah, 30 yeah very, sh very short delivery indeed and the Karan uh, dispatch it back with a square for four. That was a very poor delivery indeed. Maybe it's slipping. Come on, guys. Uh, that may be the reason. Uh, the spinner trying to spin it uh, and uh, losing the grip. Uh, wipes it down. He has a towel to do that as he comes in again and bowls to Curran. And this time it's a better delivery. Curran on the back foot pushing it to short wicket. Not chance of a run. Yeah, look, it's, it's quite difficult uh, for the spinners to grip a ball after that heavy shower. And uh, as you see, all these towels coming out now. And uh, we're currently uh, sitting at uh, at uh, scorecard. North Park needs about uh, 42 runs from uh, 73 balls. Delivery. It's a chase so on. They are uh, ahead of the game here. And this one pushed away on the offside uh, to the short extra cover fielder. No chance of a run. And... Uh, he continues again. Right arm spinner, bowling right arm off spin uh, to the left hander. Round the wicket. And 
and uh, ball left alone as an appeal. Uh, didn't seem to touch anything. I think it was for stopping. I think the wicket keeper just touched the wicket with the bell. It was yeah. just a half a field. And at the end of the eighth over, we're sitting at uh, 36 for three. Sorry, 36 for 36 for three. Yeah, three. that's right. Kiran Patel is on eight, and uh, uh, Shaikh has not faced the ball yet. So we will see him facing for the first time now as the uh, his first punt ball. I think it's going to be a lot dependent on Curran to carry the game over in North Park's favor. Yeah, look, it's, it's definitely a chase on. And uh, I think I think Stephen Lewis have uh, done well to, to pull back the scores and uh, they've definitely kept this game alive. Yeah, uh, at one point when the two openers were batting, uh, it looked as if uh, it was an easy game. Uh, for North Park, but uh, three wickets and uh, that has changed changed the uh, essence of the game. And the bowler is Mirza, Mirza. Mirza, a spinner. Another spinner. It's interesting to see that the captain of Stephen Lewis is keeping the spinners on. Yeah, it, uh, and we have seen the results. I mean, they got uh, two wickets out of these spinners, so uh, it only makes sense to uh, try and put the pressure on the batsman, and it's the left hand, another left hand. So they have a lot more left handers than uh, Stephen, uh, Lewis. Stephen Lewis had. Uh, so let's see what Mirza is going to do. Hey look, another thing with uh, with bowling too many spinners is also about the wet ball, right? I mean, spinners will find it a little bit difficult to grip it, and I think it will be better, or it might even work, to to try a base bowler and see if the batsman can also put away that heavy ball, right? Mm -hmm. It's difficult to to time and uh, judge the the bounce on that heavy ball. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, you it's, could be it's right. also yes. something to, to think about from the, yeah. the captain's point of view. Yeah. Anyways, at the moment, it's the spinner uh, bowling a right arm over. And that's down the, the leg side. And the wicket keeper doesn't get hold of it either. And they run through for a bye. And it's called a wide, so an extra run scored. So that, that is exactly what Stu and Lewis doesn't want, right? That's extras. They stopped and that's the only reason they got the openers out, because of the pressure that they built. Yeah. Uh, every run is precious at this moment. Every dot ball is a victory for Stephen Lewis. In he comes again now to ball to Curran. And that's down the leg side again. And uh, let's see what happens here again. It's a similar result, looks like. So like but he got something on yeah, that. Yeah, I think I hit his pads, yeah. He got a bit of bat on it, looks like. Oh, the umpire, umpire didn't signal yeah, anything, so it seems like he might have got, got some Got a bit of bat on it, yeah. So one more run. Anyway, it doesn't matter in whichever way it comes, it's, it's runs for uh, North Park. And Mirza drives, good looking stroke, but straight to the field at uh, mid off. No chance of a run. So, 39, we are in the ninth over. A good rub off the towel as he comes in and bowls right arm over the wicket to the left hander on the back foot. Another appeal, probably ball was missing leg stump. Uh, he was back, but uh, maybe the ball was missing leg stump. Umpire not moved. And it's still at 39. And another appeal. And uh, umpire is not out. So the batsman finding it difficult. He's playing on the back foot. I don't know whether he should come on the front foot to face this bowling. He's going back all the time and uh, creating problems for himself. I think it's because how short the bowler is pitching, right? You can see, yeah, they're and trying to play that and shot. That's a short delivery, and that's uh, pulled away down to square leg on the bounce to the fielder. Just a single. Every time the bowler pitches it there, the both batsmen, Curran and him, right? They're trying to just play the one shot and get the runs because there's a huge gap at the back, mm -hmm. and it's just giving them free runs. Yeah. So now it's 40 on the board and current strike let's see what current can do on this one and that's on the full and he just pushes it on the on side into the gap and they run through for a single yeah that was just that just looked like a, a punt <laughs> yeah it was more like a punt and it was a full toss i thought he would mm -hmm. take more advantage of that and hit it harder no i uh, think he, <laughs> he wanted to keep the strike right uh, i 
seems yeah. like he he yeah. wants to take the responsibility, right? He looks the uh, more set batsman. And he's a senior partner of the partnership right now. And yeah. I think a lot of responsibilities on him. So he yeah. just wants to take single and keep the strike. At the end of nine overs, we're currently sitting at uh, 41 for oh three. North Park leading 37. Yeah, for six, six, six balls. So they have uh, quite a lot of balls in their bank. Uh, it's uh, whether they can keep the wickets intact and go about it uh, in a in a brainy fashion. That's the whole thing. And uh, without any rush of blood, as we see uh, the new over coming up, uh, the medium pacer bowling to Karan. The new bowler is uh, Muktadir Sayed. So Muktadir, right arm medium pace coming over the wicket. And that's out yeah, way outside it's the, the wet down. ball that's and causing the bowlers. No control over that one, and it's uh, called a wide, way outside the off stump. Karan didn't have to do anything about it. Yeah, you might have to grip oh, that ball yeah, a little bit tighter. Just, oh, my goodness. And that was a very good take by the wicketkeeper. That would have been more runs. And this time it's uh, pushed out on the offside, down to short third man, and uh, there's a fielder right there. No chance of a run. And. Uh, yeah, the, the, the shower we had has changed uh, the conditions uh, yeah, the uh, vastly for the bowlers. And this is down nice. the leg side, and that's another wide. So the control is a little difficult at the moment for the bowlers. Uh, the wet ball. Come on, guys, no and, uh, runs. Mukhtar, yeah, that's uh, down the leg side, way down the leg side. And another one this yeah. time, and another very good take by the wicketkeeper. That could have been extra runs. So wicketkeeper on, is working hard there, trying to save as much as he can. But the wides are coming. I think someone should just talk to the bowler and say, oh, just keep it uh, down, keep lower your speed, right? Try to get it on the stumps, and let the batsman do the work. Again, let's see. And this time, it's outside the off stump, he goes for a drive, a <laughs> another appeal. Yeah, look, that's exactly uh, what I was, uh, I was about to just say that I don't, I don't understand why he was actually bowling around the wicket. Around the wicket was just sort of going into the pads of Karan and he favors that leg side. Let's see. So well, no, nothing better happened. Off. That was, it, uh, nothing ha hit that one. Right. It's better off him coming and over the wicket. This time Karan and that he has sliced it down to third man. There's a chase for the fielder. Yeah. They'll take two. The ball stops halfway. It's a wet, wet field now and uh, it will not go, but it was sliced away but safely, down to third man, two more to Curran, so Curran keeps the, move, the score moving, it's 46 now for three. And uh, Stephen Lewis, they need another wicket now. They need to get Curran out, that's yeah. the main wicket they, they should be looking for right now. Oh, that's, uh, that was a good ball. That was a Yorker, uh, well directed, but Curran managed to get his bat on it at the last minute. And uh, the ball ended up at short third man, no chance of a run. So, Mukhtar trying everything possible, as long as he keeps it on the stumps. Short of a length, on the back foot, pushed down the track, no chance of a run. Total remaining on 46 for 3. Run rate at 4.68. And Mukhtar... Waiting to go in again as uh, the batsman has some repairs to be done to his uh, gear. I think now the pressure is back on Stephen Lewis, right? Mm, yes, it is. Uh, after the rain, it just looks too simple for North Park, even though they lost their openers. In he comes again. Full toss, oh. and it's hard and high. What will happen here? Anybody? Yes! Yes! And another wicket ball, and that's another very important wicket. Karan, full toss, his eyes lit up, but he hit it right up in the air, and the good catch taken at mid off. That's exactly the wicket that uh, Stephen Lewis needed to, to, to give them the boost. And uh, that's a pretty big wicket for North Park, I think. That's a very good catch, and the fielder was sliding down after he took the catch, but very well taken indeed. This could be a game changing moment. That's a key wicket that they needed, and uh, Stephen Lewis has managed to pull that off. Now it's going to be really tough for North Park again to get the partnership going. So Karan Patel out for 12, 10 overs gone, 46 for 4. New batsman going in is. is it, is it new Another two in two hours. 
So, Madhav Patel taking the strike now, and uh, right arm batsman, right hand batsman, and uh, he's got a bit of a uh, bit of a job to do. And the Manu Patel looks a little worried. Uh, the look on his face, I saw at the close up. Uh, uh, he knows a lot of responsibility on him now. And uh, to bowl the next over and uh, for the far end now. Uh, the ball is at 46 for 4 after 10. And the sun is out again. And Sorry, just to repeat, uh, the bowler is Hamad. Hamad, the leg spinner continuing. So the leg spinner. Let's see whether he can have control bowling leg spin. Well, on the full. Driven down to long on and uh, there's a chase. Oh, and uh, the fielder had to be careful there not to slide away. And they get two runs. So the leg spinner will find it uh, pretty difficult, I think, uh, Akash, yeah, yeah, in these conditions. Yeah, it's difficult to grip that ball. And you see him with the towel the whole time. right? And uh, it's important if uh, North Park can keep that ball on the ground and, and get it to be as wet as, it, as possibly it can be and make it tough for the spinner. I think Stephen loses. Fielder should... Um, Take the responsibility as well. Just pass the ball around and not throw it on the ground, right? Mm -hmm. Give it directly to the wicket keeper. Yeah, look, the energy. That's all I was talking about. The energy. And after that wicket, I think they look a little bit better than they did before. And uh, they just got to continue with that. I mean, if yeah. they are to win this thing, they will have to. They'll have to work hard. So that next ball was a short of a length, then the batsman just leaving it alone. It is Patel on strike. And that's a shot of a lamp. Ooh, and that kind of came off quickly off the wicket. Looks like a top, top spin. spin. Yeah, yeah, that looks like a top spin. Mm -hmm. More runs this over, guys. More. So, uh, Leggy, uh, not having too many problems with the wet ball. Uh, yeah, Manav, Manav just seemed to have changed his shot at the last moment. He was looking for that. Ball well, that's a very short delivery, and this time it's punched away, but straight to the field, that extra cover, no chance of a run. should have thrown it. Sitting at uh, 48 for 4 mm -hmm. our North Park. And uh, so far, a decent over from the leg spinner. Uh, not giving much away. Comes in again, right arm over. Tossed up. This time he takes it on the full and plays it backward a square. There's a fielder at the deep, and they take an easy single. So one more to the total, 49. Last ball to 11th over. And the weather has improved significantly now. It's, it's bright. And so we should see a full game, uh, no doubt about it now. As the new batsman uh, making some repairs to his gear. Left hander. Riaz. Is Riaz. Riaz the left hander. Riaz facing up to the leg spinner. Right arm over. Oh, full toss. That should and be a no ball. Uh, he didn't get hold of it and they take a single. We'll have to wait for the call from the yeah, umpire. Yeah, yes, part. it was a high full toss. So a high full toss over the waistline and that's two runs and uh, a single and a no ball. And the total now moves past 50 I think. Oh, and the batsman that's slipped as well after playing that stroke, and that's the risk they take uh, when they swivel around after playing a stroke and brings the right-handed Patel on strike. And uh, the leg spinner in, and that's uh, squirted out on the onside, straight to the field at uh, short fine leg, and there's no chance of a run. The Someone end here. of the 11th over. Left was. Yeah. Eleven hours gone. It's 50. You gotta go for it, guys. You gotta go for it now. 51. Go ahead. So they need 27 or 54. Score, so half a run a ball. <laughs> yeah, I think they know that they're not take, uh, they're not going for the big shots, right? They're just looking for the singles, right? And there'll be the odd wide, the wet ball, you know, and uh, so they, they don't have uh, any, nothing to, uh, not too hasty about it, you know. Uh, they can just push it around. Yeah, exactly. As we see uh, their coach, 
I'm, I'm sure that's probably what he's saying to them. And uh, just to keep it really simple, yeah. right? There's nothing fancy that they need to do. No need to play no, no big shots to sort of uh, give any chance to the opposition. They just yeah, need keep to the stroke the ball intact. around. Exactly. Yeah, and for Stephen Lewis to win um, this game, they'll have to uh, restrict the extras. Yeah. As we take a look at another look at the scorecard currently sitting, Riaz sitting at three and uh, Patel on three, three as well. As well. Mm -hmm. So Shaikh has faced 11 balls so far, but it uh, does not matter because they have uh, plenty of deliveries left in this inning and uh, even if they play down a couple of maiden overs, they still will be away uh, to a good position. And uh, to bowl the 12th over, whom do we have? Mangat. Yeah. And, and this is left hander facing him. And that's. Oh, yeah. and that's out. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's yeah. see. That that is and yes, he's giving him out, and that's a very good catch indeed. That was going like a rocket. And it was dropping in front of the fielder, but he got under it, got his fingers under the ball, and came up with the catch. So it's a very good catch indeed. We can see the replay here. Let's see. Yes, yes, so that's a wonderful bit of fielding by the fielder at the short third man. It was dropping on him. That's a really good catch. And that's, that, that's what exactly what Stephen Lewis needed, right? They needed that one wicket and right now they should be on top of their game, right? It stops those extras and they're back in this game. 51 for five. Right down now, guys, right down. Now they got to the bottom order of the uh, batting. So exactly, now it's going to be tough for North Park to keep up the runs, right? The new batsman, Nishil, a right-hander. Facing up to Mangat. So Mangat strikes, a very good catch indeed, and yeah, that's the kind uh, of feeling. As we say, catches win matches. Huh? Mm -hmm. That catches could be a winning win catch. Matches, yeah. uh, that, that can lift a team at any point of time. I think if Steven Lewis takes one more wicket in this over, they ha they'll have a really good chance of coming back in this game. So Nishil doesn't take any chances, just stops the ball in front of him, the first delivery phases. And now uh, the... It's an attacking field. They have brought in a lot of fielders in, stopping those singles, which is a good ploy at this juncture as Mangat bowls a right arm over the wicket. And Nikhil uh, tries to... Uh, very unorthodox looking stroke. Yeah. Didn't get a touch on it through to the keeper. He, he was yeah, trying look, to... He just, he just seems to be more... It just seems to me that he wants to get Mana back on strike. And so. uh, Mangat again to Nishi. Oh, and he hits oh, it hard, okay. and that's well hit because uh, there's no field out there. He got the cap there, and they'll take two runs. So, uh, good stroke then from Nishil. He, he measured it well. He saw there was a cap at uh, Midwicket and got a good bat on it and got Come two on, runs. My God, throw it. 53. So, Nishil. No runs here. Okay, that was a good tactic by him. Waited for the right delivery to hit. Mangat. Yep, and he found the gap, which is hmm. good. Oh, and, again. <laughs> and uh, this time he was not too sure of that one, but he managed to keep it away. Otherwise, uh, he would have been in big trouble. That was he was just standing on his crease and put his back to stop the ball. I think he's having problems with the balls that are pitched up. Anything short, he likes to jump on it, right? Anything pitched up, he's having difficulties reading it. In he comes again, and this time he tries to steer it past point. He didn't get a bat on it, but uh, not enough. Uh, fielder moving to his left field. End of the over. Good over there from Mangat. Got a wicket in that. And uh, 12 gone now. 53 for 5. Akash, how do we stand now? Uh, I think I think it's still an even balance. It's just about uh, one wicket that can uh, sort of uh, sort of put this game anywhere. Uh, just yeah. Stephen Lewis needs one wicket. And uh, whereas North Park just needs these two guys or Manav to do more bulk of, bulk of the scoring. For them. And uh, the ball, the 13th the, over. The bowler is Bilal Khan, I believe. Bilal? Yeah. 
Well, he opened the bowling, and uh, let's see what he can do here. The batsman taking fresh guard. And the sun is now bright. It's Bilal, B. Khan. In he comes. Bowls to the right handed. And, oh. and he oh, that was uh, <laughs> a very lucky leave, I would say. Very well anticipated. That almost got his off stump. Yeah, well judged in the end. <laughs> <laughs> but, and, uh, well he, didn't, he didn't expect it to come back into him. He thought it was going out and he just left it really close. And this time it's uh, wide outside the off stump and it's called a no ball too. And uh, it's a no ball actually. Uh, ball overstepping. No, I think uh, I think it's the over the waist. Oh, is it? Sorry, yeah, yeah. It's oh, is it a full toss? Probably the over the waist no ball. Yeah. And again. Too high. No, that was uh, going down the leg side. Yeah, look, Bilal Khan, Bilal Khan. Bilal is moving that ball. He, he's putting yeah. some off cutters, kind of, you know, at this moment. Yeah, he's, he's posing, posing off some cutters. questions for the batsman yeah. at the moment. Yeah, it's it's yeah, uh, missing line. missing leg stump. Uh, batsman uh, batting on the leg stump there, anyways, and it was missing leg. Uh, he's bowling off cutters. Yeah, he's I, he's I think if getting he that ball to Jack back. If he pitches it outside off stump, uh, he's gonna have really good uh, yes. chance of picking up a wicket yes. right now. Oh, and then edge the wicket keeper can't get to it. They'll take one. They'll come back for two. The ball gone down to third man. Well, well. Uh, I think uh, the batsmen are giving us heart palpitations here. <laughs> Lucky to survive. Yeah, I think the keeper was moving down the leg side as he saw um, Bilal is getting that ball to cut in big, and he had to sort of adjust in the end and dive to his right again. And uh, that's a very sedate looking stroke this time. Just pushing it out to Bidwicket. No run. So Bilal pulls some deep off cutters. Nice. 55. Is it 56? He comes and bowls and he's on the back foot short of a length and pushing it out on the on off side of the field and Bilal himself picks it up and that is the end of the over? No. Yeah, end of and the over. End of the end of the over. 56 for 5. 13 gone. 22 of, 22 of 42 now. Is the equation uh, uh, getting thinner or closer or whatever you call it? Well, they got, they're, they're moving along with the target they need. Because at, uh, at uh, 48 balls, they needed uh, 20, uh, 26, 24. 24, sorry. So they're moving along. I think uh, they just need to not give up any wickets. Just to bat on. The batting side, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. They just have to bat on. And uh, to bowl the 14th over. Is it the leg spinner? Yes, the leg spinner, yes. yeah. Comes in, bowls. And uh, it's outside wide. the leg stamp, and that's a wide. Well, that's what uh, they do not want to do. Just keep it in uh, between the stumps. Let the batsman make the mistake. Yeah, look, both the teams have bowled uh, quite a few extras today. Yeah. If, uh, if we notice and go back to the scorecard, uh, oh. yeah, the whites yeah. have been in the double digits, which is not, not helping either one of the teams. Yeah. And initial, uh, not too sure of that delivery. Tossed up, they managed to keep it away anyways out of his stumps. And he comes again, leg spinner, short of a length, and that's pushed away on the offside, straight to the field at short point, no chance of a run. So, initial. He grips that bat at the very bottom, bottom. so he's a bottom handed, uh, you know, if he gets it, he'll really yeah, hit it out of the ground. He's so also that's what got he's that, waiting. He's also got that open stance, and yeah. you know he's always going to be there. He goes, oh, oh. Side. Yep. And that uh, open, he open moved stance. right across that time and tried to flick it down the leg side, didn't get hold of it. And the ball just went over the stumps, uh, just over the leg stump there. So Nishil trying to uh, put the bowler off line, line and length, moving across. Waits for him again. Balls and this is wide. Uh, wide. I think he, the ball has completely slipped out of his hand. Uh, 
this is what uh, leg spinner can do. It will slip out of his hand, trying to spin it, you know, and uh, ends up bowling way wide. And I must say, the wicket keeper has done a very okay. good job indeed. Oh, and uh, this time he gets a bat on it and manages to uh, push it down to third man where the field has to move to his left field, and that's a single. The score moves on to 59 for five. So initial. Getting some useful runs here. Very unorthodox, but uh, he's being uh, very effective. And, uh, we'll see what the other batsman is going to do now. The next delivery coming up. Mangat, right? Is the bowler? Is it? And he's chopped down again. Uh, oh, oh this could be a right trouble. Oh, yes, oh he's God. out this time. And oh, dear me. And the batsman chopped it down. The fielder had to move to his left, but the ball didn't go too far, and he got stranded in the middle. And that's another wicket down around. I think that's Manav going out, and he was the lucky. He was the one who was settled. And he was the one scoring runs. This again, that was a tricky moment where they got the wicket. This could be tough for North Park to come back with. So another wicket falls, a run out. Patel is gone. And the sixth wicket down. So Stephen Lewis is clawing back and clawing back seriously. 58 for six. And that 78 looks quite a distant score now. That was excellent fielding. A really good throw right on top of the stumps, right? And this is what, what Stephen Lewis was lo looking for. The great fielding and right, helping the bowlers out. Right, and new batsman coming in, Rajat Arora. Rajat. Did Rajat a pretty Arora. handy job with the ball, right? Now it's time for him to step up at the bat. So Rajat Arora. 58. 20 readers still. Six wickets down now. And uh, I think that rain was a sh uh, shower of blessing for <laughs> Stephen Lewis, looks like. Could be. <laughs> I, I think the game went even after the rain, right? North Park scored um, decent runs, right? And Stephen Lewis picked up a decent amount of wickets. And the first delivery has been played away to short mid wicket, no chance of a run. And that's the end of the 14th over. 59 for 6. 6 yeah, overs this, still this left. Game, this game still looks in the balance. Anything can happen at yeah. the moment. It's, it's not uh, it's going either way. Exactly. It could go either way. And uh, Michel Master is not out on 3. Aurora with him uh, yet to score. And uh, because have been shared. Syed taking 2. And there's a change in the bowling. Uh, the medium pace is, is it Nickel back in? Ali is the new bowler back into the attack. Right arm over. Ooh, and Nishi. Uh, 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 even though Nishi has been on the crease for like two overs now, he doesn't seem to have uh, be reading the ball properly. Yeah, and he doesn't have any footwork. He's playing it from the crease, and uh, if it's there to hit, he'll hit it. Otherwise, he just uh, stands there and manages to keep the ball out of the wicket. So I think he's let's just, see. I think he's looking for the one shot, right? Pitching it up, right? Over long on. And he's shot. Oh, and, really good catch. and that's another good catch indeed. So the fielding has really come up in the last uh, few overs. As I said, Nishil, who stands at the crease, just thrusts it bad at it, and just... Uh, I thought it went over the field at point, but uh, he managed to grab it. I think they read it well, right? They knew yeah. he had a free uh, open stance, right? Yeah. And oh, that's a good catch. That's a very good catch. He timed it so well. He was he looking timed for it so the well. long on shot, and they read it well. And bowled him a short one, right? And, uh, and that's, the that's the wicket they were looking and for. And also, field at point. Who is that? The field at point. He's tall, and uh, he timed his jump at the right, right time. time. So, initial master is gone. 59 for 7 now. North Park looking a little shaky now. Nerves are wrangling at the moment. That's going to be really tough for North Park to 
It is. Uh, build up a the, small the, partnership. The 19 here. runs uh, is looming large now for them. Yeah. As we New batsman Prab Prab facing Prab up to Ali. Prab so Ali has done Prab the trick. Ali has broken through. And oh. outside the off stamp, just a swish at it, and it's a wide. Uh oh. A wide. That's a good take from okay. the keeper. And, uh, now they, they, they should have a team conference here and say, okay, we are not going to bowl any wise, just bowl it on the stumps. That's it. We've got seven wickets down. Kalra is the new batsman. Just keep it on the stumps. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, they're forcing some bad shots from uh, North Park, so mm -hmm. they might as well just do that and not right. give away any free run. Again, again. Another wide. Exactly Another wide. This is exactly what Stephen Lewis does not want. Every every uh, uh, delivery that they bowl wide, uh, they are giving more confidence to the uh, to North Park. That's what they are doing. They don't have to do too much. Just keep it on the, and let the batsman force it if they can. Right. And uh, out of the 60 that they have given, they've already given 14 wides, and that okay, tells the story. Wow. The fielding has been after the rain, especially right. The fielding has really has stepped that, up. Yeah, I think that the slippery ball seems to stick better. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, 14 whites is, uh, is a, is lot, a lot, lot of runs. When you have been defending 78, right? Exactly. It's a lot of runs when you're just chasing a small, I mean, when you're defending a small target. Ali, outside the off stump. So, uh, swish and a miss. That's the end of the over. Is it? No, yeah. not yet. He bowled two whites in this over, right? Yeah, yeah, one more, one more ball to go, one more ball to go. So he's, 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 he's cutting it off the seam a little bit too, Ali. Both again. And, well, the batsman has no clue as to what happened there. You're beaten by it, through to the keeper, who took it well again. I beg your pardon, there's one more ball to go, there's two balls. And, uh, uh, yeah, and one more ball to go. Yeah, so Ali, 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 Ali bowling a very good over. 61 and, uh, for 7. Ali in oh. who have beaten again. Uh, the batsman has no clue. Yeah, probably even not moving too much of his feet and, and not getting close to the ball. And that's the end of the 15th over. Now it's 61 for 7 after 15. Five overs to go. And uh, all round one, Aurora yet to score. And uh, let's see who's going to take up the attack now. It's I going to be Bilal Khan is going to bowl. Yeah, I think Bilal Khan's going to come back yeah, and. I think for Steven Lewis, they, all they have to do is put it on the stumps, right, and make the batsman hit it, right, and for North That's right. Park, and for North Park, it's going to be tough, since it's the tailenders, right, putting it in the gap is going to be hard, so they will have to run those risky ones, right. They just have to bowl on the stumps, let the batsman force it if they can. And to bowl from the near end. And that's hit down to extra cover. They'll get a single. There's a good cover drive from uh, Kalra. From Raja. 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 And now it's uh, Kalra who's Prab facing. Prabjeevan is on strike. Prabjeevan. Yeah. Okay. That's all North Park has to do. So take, just rotate the strike every ball. Yeah. And it should be pretty easy. That's played confidently off the back foot to yep. short extra cover. They only need 16 runs, 16 runs in 28 balls. So they still have enough balls in hand, but only thing is, can they keep their heads straight and uh, make it? Next delivery to the right hander, and that's played out on the onside. That's well fielded at backward fine. And a good throw, and a good throw. And he's the he's the fielder who took that uh, marvelous catch earlier on at short third man. Right. And uh, the fielding has really stepped up uh, in the last uh, few overs. Right, as we can see and the comparison. That's outside the off and that's a wide. That's another wide. After the 15 over mark. And um, I'm sure the bowler is frustrated with himself for bowling that one. Yes. Ah, no free run. 63 now. And, and 
and another way, another way. 64. And uh, they are trying to do too much with the ball. They just just ball it straight. And that's beaten him outside the old stump. As I was watching the replay, I mean, he's trying to cut the ball, the bowler. Uh, and uh right, so after the 15 over, Stephen Lewis had 69 for four, yeah. and North Park is 60. Uh, they had 61 for seven. They're pretty much behind at this point in time from Stephen Lewis. But mind you, uh, Stephen Lewis didn't bat out that 20 overs. 20 overs, overs exactly. So. If they do bat out the 20 overs, North Park should take this game. Yes. Uh, hopefully the bowlers can keep it uh, straight without bowling wide. And another swing and a miss. So this batsman is having a charm life, I would say. He has been swinging and missing quite a bit. Yeah, look, Carl uh, Prabhjian has, uh, has struggled a bit to, to time the ball or even touch the ball, in fact. And... Uh, just really needs to to get bat on ball and then get off strike and get the other guys need to do the same. That's the end of the over, was it? Yeah, that's yes. the end of the over, and uh, I believe uh, we will see a bowling game. And uh, we see Muktadir Syed will come back into the attack, and right arm medium pace, and bowling to the right-handed. To the air, medium pace, right arm over, and uh, peel. But uh, ball going through to the wicket keeper didn't touch. So a lot of missing uh, going on right now. The batsman just swinging and missing at the moment. Uh, the better ploy would be to just tuck it around and see whether they can get a couple of singles. There he goes again, this time uh, through to the keeper again. Keeper fumbles, but uh, doesn't let it go far off him. No chance of a run again. So two dot balls in this over. And uh, that means the pressure is building up again for the batsman. And that is another on, wide. Guys, go wide. And this is what I can understand. Two dot balls and you bowl a wide. wide I mean, yeah. just keep bowling the same. They have and to bowl with discipline, and that's the only way Stephen Lewis is going to manage to win this game. That's exactly what I was saying. It's the white, white counter. And there he goes. This time he has uh, lofted it uh, over extra cover for a single. Right, a so bit very well earned run there. The be the and now uh, getting a little closer to that target with that single. 65. 66 now. 66. And he comes again, right arm over, and this time it's played and and caught. Yeah. Another good catch. That's a good catch from Bilal. Well, the fielding has been extremely good for Stephen Lewis. Nothing has gone to ground. Everything the ball that every time the ball went in the air, the fielder has got under it and held it, and that's the eighth wicket down. Yeah, look, he's done. He's done really well to grab that one. It was quite low. And he was sort of dying on him, and uh, yeah, Stephen Lewis are looking a lot more energetic now. They feel that uh, they can they can get back in this one and defend this. So Kalra is gone for a single, and the new batsman coming in at 66 for eight, with jittery nerves, I would say, at this point. They only need 12 runs. The thing is, they're losing the wickets. They're not keeping the wickets. The pressure. Stephen Lewis is building the pressure, and that's causing North Park to play bad shots. I think they just the batsmen just have to talk among themselves. D Serum. Serum is the new batsman, and he will take strike with the total reading 66 for eight. comes and that's uh, confidently played out on the offside to the field at extra short extra cover. Yeah, look, this, game, this game's uh, come down a lot closer than we uh, any one of us would have anticipated and I think the wickets column is 
is really looking uh, looking hard for the the North Park guys. In again, balls to the serum. Drives and that shot, well played shot. down to Midwicker and they will look for two and they will have to hurry and they get two. This well, is well, exactly well. what North Park needs. Well, uh, Dizerum looks uh, much more competent uh, bat than some of the batsmen I've seen before. Yeah, he should have came up the order Maybe a little. Maybe it's a trick that they want to <laughs> keep him low down in the order and uh, uh, make things more interesting. Maybe. That was the end of the over? That was the end of the over, right? Yeah, at yes, the yeah. end of the over, it's 68 for 8, and uh, North Park needing Bilal's 10 runs. 18 balls, 18 balls, 10 runs. Bilal's coming back to the attack, taking the responsibility of bowling the. Yeah, the at, at, at the beginning, as uh, Akash was saying, when uh, Max and Sabes were batting, it looked so easy right. for uh, North Park. Yeah, yeah, but and that, uh, well, that was the case as well for uh, Stephen Lewis themselves. Right. The openers got a bit of a good start, and yeah. then uh, they just. That the lower order and the middle order were just not able to capitalize on that. Right. So uh, the first ball had been played down to fine link, uh, but no run. Yeah, in the 18th over, 68 for 8. Bilal. And that's hit hard, and uh, they run through, and they dive and get a single. <laughs> well, uh, the bowler, uh, the fielder didn't go through with the throw, and they are comfortably through for the single. 69. Well, Bilal to Serum. Oh, he holds up. Changing the field. Where are we getting a fielder down to? I think he's bringing somebody out to mid wicket, looks like. No? No, he does not. And the umpire are saying something to each other. So North Park needs nine runs up 16 balls. So there is a big gap uh, between Bitwicket and Square Leg. Nobody in the deep. Let's see whether Dizerum is going to go there. No, he goes straight to the field at uh, short mid on. Yeah, look, Dinit is just uh, looking to play that uh, that big heave to to deep Midwicket. Midwicket, because there's uh, a big gap. If he gets it in the gap, he has runs. Right, exactly. And that's a full toss, and that's played down to long on a sliding stop, but they're through for another single. So. Getting closer and closer. Serum, uh, Serum is doing well there for uh, North Park. Mandish, uh, he's batting like you did. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's an appeal. <laughs> and there's a white. Again, it's called yeah. a white. <laughs> 70 now. 71. Wow, it's getting ever so close. Oh, this is a Hitchcock thriller, I would say, right now. Oh, another poor, run. Poor, poor. Well, well, well. Well, and now both sides are I'm sure nervous. <laughs> both sides are nervous. Nibs is getting closer and closer every ball. Everybody, yeah, look, even out here, the commentators are getting a bit nervous as to what's going to happen. Just needing six runs now is not looking too hard. Well. Well, well, well. 73. 73 parade. Uh, two more overs. And 18 overs gone. Well, nothing can be said. Now it can be the side who holds their nerve. That's about it. Nothing about cricket here is the side who holds their nerve is the side who's going to win. What do you say, Ak Akash? Well, I mean, uh, to to be really frank, I think. Uh, it takes only two balls. I mean, yeah, two wins, yeah, right? exactly, exactly. It's just. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look, and that's exactly you. Uh, I think I think it's it's looking a lot more towards the North Park than it is for Stephen Lewis at the moment. Uh, it's <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, you only need five, so <laughs> two balls would do uh, if they can really hit two hard hits. Yeah, you just need that uh, that and that maximum. <laughs> and they have the right batsman uh, facing. It's uh, Dimut Seram, uh, yeah. who has done. Uh, he has been very handy at yeah. uh, number nine, number ten. He scored, like, I think, five runs yeah, so far. But valuable. Valuable five runs. And to bowl this penultimate over, very, very crucial over here. And an appeal. Wow, wow, oh, wow. wow. The keeper wow. really wow. Um, says, keeper oh, really. there's a. The two umpires are conferring in the middle. 
keeper was really much into that let's appeal. Look at the replay. That, uh, well, the, let's see the, the replay. The well, we, we can't see much. You can't see the edge because yeah. the ball didn't move at all after passing the bat. Well, let's see what the umpires are going to come up with. The two umpires conferred in the middle. Uh, we, we don't have the third umpire and the replay is there, but anyways, uh, it was clearly not out. And uh, another appeal, so very well bold from Ali. good delivery. Ali, right? Ali, keeping the pressure ball. on. That's well, two dot balls now, two dot balls now, and uh, still enough uh, number of balls to uh, balls left 10, so enough balls. Yeah, look, I think if Ali can uh, tie them down for this over, anything can happen in the last over. And uh, they are going through for a quick single, and they get it, they get it, they get it. They get it. And no, 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 they're no. in the basement to run ready for it. I think Ali is their prime bowler. Remember, he got the Max Joshi out. Right. He got their main batsman out. So I think he is the guy. 74. The last two overs. 74. Ali. In. And that's played away. And that's very well played. Down to uh, back foot of square. Down to final leg. They'll go for two and they'll get two. They're safely home for two. 76 now. Ooh, nail biting time. Just inching closer and closer, yeah. <laughs> and they need a one to equal and two to win, is it? Right. Two runs to win of eight balls. It doesn't look that difficult now. Two runs of eight balls and uh, it's what just, a it's game just, this has been. It's what just a, a one hit away now, one hit away. North Park. North Park. Can Ali come with a bag of tricks now? Two wickets in two balls and that will seal it for them. But that's oh, down the leg side, played down to the field at final leg. No chance of no a run. Ball. Nothing. So Almost a low ball toss there from Ali. Anyway, umpire doesn't call a no ball. Anyways, uh, keeps the game alive. 76 for 8. The final ball of the 19th over. Ali. And That's outside the, the off stump. So in the last and over, they into the last two over runs, we go. Uh, two runs, <laughs> six balls. And now, this is what I said. When not, uh, when Stephen Lewis batted, they should have batted their 20 overs. Exactly. I think that, that probably will be the difference in this game. Exactly. If, they, if these guys can bat out the six balls, it's, it's quite likely that they'll get the two runs. But right. hey, how about a wicket now? Well, two balls, two wickets still can happen. It can happen, but look at look who's bowling. It's a spinner coming on, and he's bowling to the tail enders, and it's and uh, the bowler is it's Talha Talha Tabish will bowl the last over. Talha Tabish can he bowling bowl this one to off? the serum. The serum, a very valuable seven runs at the moment. Can Talha pull this back? Two runs. Talha, six balls, two runs, two wickets to get. Outside the off stump. And the and batsman decides ball. to leave the ball. <laughs> well, Saram taking no chances. Saram seems to have almost all the time in what the world. What happens if they finish on the same score? Then I think we might have a super over. Uh -huh. <laughs> Talha to Saram. Saram goes for the big one and he has got it past mid-off. And that equals the score. That equals the score. Equals the score. 77 equals the score, and uh, let's see. I can see the North Park Daga almost ready to jump on the field. And uh, the two batsmen having a conference in the middle of the wicket, a mid big, con big wicket conference. Uh, what do you think, uh, uh, Mandesh? You're asking me who's going to win? <laughs> Well, things have happened in cricket, you know, I mean... Uh, yeah, I mean, two balls, two wickets. Remember, <laughs> remember <laughs> Marling happens. taking four wickets uh, in the South Africa game? Uh, he almost won the game for Sri Lanka at one time. Exactly, exactly. In, in one over, he took four wickets, right? Yeah. And bowling to good batsmen. And... Oh, 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 oh my goodness! I think we just jinxed that one. Better. Better. We just 77 <laughs> for nine. <laughs> we Did we just <laughs> call the game there? <laughs> I told you, two balls, two wickets can happen.
exactly, exactly. Can't tell how bull this one out. And the, the last of man, it. and it's tight game at the moment. 77 for 9. He, the tail enders are having a hard time. Look and at that. that's a good that's catch. A, wow, what a catch, catch, catch to come up with that this time. Uh -huh. oh, oh, Talha, what a catch, what a catch. And uh, three balls to go. One to win. Five Arora. valuable runs for but Arora. Arora. What a partnership with the serum. Five runs. Those are valuable runs for Taylor. At least they have kept them in the game still yep. because now it could be a super over. It could be a super over. Even the umpires are worrying about it. Yeah. You know, the umpires just want to get it absolutely right that there's three balls left. Wow, what a game. What a game. This is a fitting finale, I would say. Couldn't have anything better than this for a final. Uh, Every, Akash? Everybody on their feet at the moment at the ground. Everyone's just looking forward to... And the bright sunshine makes it even better. <laughs> Both dugouts just waiting for the last thing. All the spectators on edge as Talha bowls to the last man who plays it away on the outside through mid wicket. They take a run and they have won the game. North Park has won a nail biter with two balls to go. For sure, for sure. North Park pulled his one out of the hat and uh, Stuby Lewis definitely made this, uh, made this a game. But uh, yeah, North Park, North Park will really be happy and uh, they are. They are the, the SIBA 2013 yep. high school champions for North, North Park. Park. And it's a well deserved victory for North Park. They played extremely well. Right? It was a close game, but they came out on top. Yeah, what a wonderful game of cricket it was. Uh, at one time it one sided, but then uh, cricket is such a wonderful game. That's why this is a wonderful game. And they made it, they proved that this is the best game that you can play to have everybody on the edge of the seat. Yeah, exactly. Look, congratulations I mean, to both teams. Well done, uh, North Park. Well done, uh, Stephen Lewis. And this shows uh, the fighting spirit uh, amongst these boys, boys who have played the game today. And it's a it's a great pleasure, Akash, Mandish, to have you guys with me. And uh, just to wrap it up, uh, North Park ending up with 79 for 9 in 19 point. Four overs, and uh, it's a wrap from here uh, in the commentary box, and we'll be back with the presentation. Thank you. Let's play some ball. And welcome back to the SEMA Mayor's Cup Championship. North Park won by one wicket. And what a great matchup it was today. Unfortunately, there had to be one loser. If I could get the captain from Stephen Lewis, uh, come accept the runners up trophy. Great game. And now for the champions, if I can have the captain from North Park come accept the trophy. Two thousand thirteen Mayor's Cup champions. Congratulations to both teams and thank you for participating and watching today on Rogers Television. Everyone, have a good one.